Welcome, welcome. Let me just get my stuff together, man, and we'll we'll get started on this division, dude. Been having a lot of fun on it. Like <laughs> like a shit ton of fun. So let me get my stuff together, man. Make sure you guys have a nice little uh listening party. You guys have a good show tonight. Like I said, we're, we're, we're playing some new music today, man. I'm excited. Let me turn it. Let me do me one this. All right. I think we sound about good. I'm going I'm to go ahead and uh, let, let this music play for a little bit longer. You guys got some new shit in here, dude? No. I'm sad. Alright, let's turn it down just a little bit. Should I turn it up just a little bit more? We're getting it together, man. I was doing some uh, crafting in here, dude. There's something I didn't I didn't know I could do. Uh, give me a second. I, I'll explain it. So basically, what I've been what I've been trying to do for years is I've been wanting to recalibrate my my weapons, my LMGs, man, because I want to put some extra shit on it. But they've always given me the same thing. I think it's like this right here, where it says uh, you do not have any elements to transfer into this item. No, and I was I was like, why? 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 Why can't I transfer any items? Back in the day, uh, but when I used to play uh, this game, I used to always be able to, you know, craft and upgrade and change my uh, my weapons and stuff. And it turns out uh, that I was making a mistake because I'm an idiot, and I needed to actually go to recalibration library and actually take the talents off of LMGs because I've been specifically using pistols this entire time. And uh, my pistols, I've been breaking those down and using those talents onto other weapons. Uh, but that's what, I need, that's what I needed to do with my LMGs because I barely use those. So actually, after breaking down some LMGs and taking off their passives to put on my new LMGs, I was now, I'm now able to upgrade and change uh, uh, these items now. And see, I'm trying to figure out exactly what would be the best uh, loadout for my build that I'm doing. And funny enough, I've been doing this uh, pure blue tank loadout where all my uh, items here, uh, well, some of it's yellow now because I've been, I've been uh, flirting with it. But all these items have been, it's been uh, blue armor, uh, which is good. I like, I like being a little tanky, um, but I would like to play uh, support a little bit better too. And so I'm thinking of going for a half tanky half uh skill loadout or maybe even flirting uh with going full skill because well i don't want to get shot and end up getting killed like right off the bat but you see this is this work gets hard man this is where it gets hard because i actually want to there's so many things i need to do here and i, and I want to see if i can get these things done i was actually i've specifically waited to, to stream to actually do this because i've been so excited to do it but i want you guys to see my uh slow ascension to to greatness uh, let me check my stream and make sure everything's going good because I know yesterday uh, I was having some hiccup problems. I just want to make sure I'm not having any hiccups today. Uh, it turns out my output was uh, was turned uh, to the wrong uh, knob, so we turned it down a little bit so we can actually have a smoother experience. And it looks like it's working. Looks like we're having a, a pretty good okay time keeping things going. All right, cool. So let me see. So, oh yeah, I was actually able to be able to craft uh, the L uh, the L eighty six as well. Uh, I must have gotten that when I took out took over a, a control point, which I'm excited about, very very excited about. So we're gonna be wanting to craft more of these as well for our character, so we can actually start doing uh, m more things. Like this is this is the item that I actually crafted, and this is the one that I earned. Uh, but the one that I crafted has more damage, so we're gonna keep on crafting until we can get that damage as high as possible. 
I didn't want to do uh, any RNG until I started streaming as well. So let's get some RNG done. Let's see if we can get this shit above uh, our current damage, which our current damage threshold for this one is uh, 74k, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, the damage is 74.3k. So let's see if we can get it uh, above 74.3. Cause we're trying to we're trying to get like the best build possible. That's what that's what we're doing here. So let's let's do that. Uh, where is it? We're gonna be going on the weapons and then LMGs. Which again, it, it what made me like fangirl out is the fact that this is actually my favorite LMG like of all time. Uh, next to the QBB 95, this right here is my second is my second favorite rifle in any video game ever. All right, cool. Let's see if we can craft this shit. 74.3. Is it always gonna be that? No, no, no. Please say no. Please say no. 77.5 that's good okay cool that's really good all right so we got 77.5 that's actually fucking awesome all right that's that's a few k's of damage let me see where is it it's gonna be this one here all right cool so we're gonna work, use this one trash this one trash this one we're gonna go ahead and decent disenchant these so that we can uh use those pieces to make more lmgs uh i don't know how long we're gonna be sitting at this table doing this uh but we're definitely gonna go ahead and uh keep this one uh, we can get rid of some of these other ones. We're going to take the passives off of these other few guns that we're not going to use. And even some of these pistols so we can add that to our other pistols that we're going to be using as well. Uh, oh, we got we got so much to do. I'm so excited for this. This is this is, this is is my shit right here. I, I enjoy all of this. Let's see here what we got. So we got 77k, right? Is that what we're doing? We're working with 77k? Let's see. Yeah, we got 77.5. So let's see if we can get that a little bit higher. Oh boy, I'm excited. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, no, no. And then we'll be taking this shit to the dark zone too, so we can start whooping on some noobs. Just kidding, I'm the noob because I haven't played this game for a while. We still gonna whoop up on people, uh, PvP wise. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so it, it, it says here that the the minimal damage at least is gonna be 59k. So let me see, we're 77.5. Give me something good, please. Ah, 75. Fuck. Seventy-three. No, say it ain't so. Seventy-five. I think seventy-seven might be the highest. I don't want to use too much of the of my steel. Let's not do that, because we need to craft other things. Okay, cool. Looks like we just got lucky. I wish there was a way we can actually like super craft, but it's cool. All right, so we got we got this at we got it at uh we got it we're sitting at a comfortable um seventy-seven. So let's trash all of this. And get some of those pieces back. Do we get steel for that? Oh, we don't get steel for that. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay, cool. Well, good thing we didn't keep on crafting. We can't do it forever. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of... Let, let's start disenchanting some of our stuff. Breaking it down. And taking those passives off so we can actually put those passives on our other things. Let's see here. Uh, and I would like to get some core attributes off of these things, too. Like uh, reload speed. Is there one with reload speed on here? Let's see. Swap speed, rate of fire. Oh, there isn't. Oh, that's 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 terrible. Because I, I want a high reload speed for our uh, weapon as well. I don't think we're going to have that, though. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what does optimization do? Okay, that's fine. All right, cool. Let's take a look at what the weapon we currently have. What's the passive on it right now? Uh, amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 minutes you are away from your target. That's actually pretty nice. I kind of like that. I kind of like that's actually really good. I don't think I want to change that passive. Okay, so let me go back then. Alright, so I know our build has been like strictly tanky. But what I would like to possibly do is maybe go back to the Heartbreaker build that we were using at first. Because it really complements our LMG damage like a lot so we might have to go back because this one's actually really good too throwing a grenade uh refunds it so i throw a grenade i keep a grenade um and then also it grants me one uh skill tier which actually makes whatever i use slightly better um in terms of my abilities which is that's fucking huge dude so i throw a grenade and i'm able to do a lot of more stuff but that's for skill building what i need to do instead is I need to make a tanky build and then make a ability build. That way I can actually kind of uh, um, uh, flex between situations. 
Um, or if I'm playing with other players, I can help them a whole lot more too whenever they're asking for help. You might not need me to be tanky, you might need me to, you know, support you, give you help, things like that. And I love playing support, so um, let's try that for some other time. Let's get our Heartbreaker build together so we can get that LMG damage. And the weapon handling is pretty good too. Uh, okay, cool. So what this is going to do, Heartbreaker, is now that we have four pieces of this armor set, because that's what this teal color represents, it re represents an armor set. Uh, since we have that together, we now have uh, the passive that's over here, uh, which would be the two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, which we're in the four pieces uh, zone, where we, you know, are able to... Uh, put on headshots and do more damage and things like that and as we're shooting them with headshots we're able to get our health back which makes us more tanky which is good uh let's do that then so we're gonna we're gonna do this for right now let's see how this works with our new lmg now since we do do more damage the further we, we are away from our target and we do fight from a far distance um wait well is that good every five meters how how is how how long is we gotta test this in the field so let's do our op, let's put our optimal range up here so our damage fall off isn't as hard at longer ranges um i don't know i think our accuracy is gonna be pretty good the lmg damage on the core attribute section is actually really good too that's almost at it's almost at its max uh the swap speed's all right i mean we're not really looking for that and now we're looking for accuracy would be good at long distances as well um stability is fine but we're going to be looking for accuracy. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else for accuracy? No. But we do have optimal range. So let's stack that on top of each other. That'd be great. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Um, again, I want to high... Why did our damage go from 75 to 86? That says 86. We were at 77 at first. Why did it go up? Oh, our passive from our armor pieces makes our LMG damage higher. Okay, cause it, okay, so check this out. So if I if I take off this piece and take off uh, this piece, um, if you look over, uh, the three piece, four piece aren't lit up anymore on that right side for the passives. Uh, actually, no, no, no. A better example would be to take off all three pieces. See now, if you look at it, nothing on that right side's lit up okay so it looks like they already apply the damage numbers onto my weapons as soon as i get those pieces on that's pretty cool i like that that's nice all right cool let's so let now that we got that together let's go out and fight some baddies now we're we are in the higher levels right now of the division so uh we're on challenge challenging mode i think it's like challenge mode for the uh global settings yeah we're on challenging so it's it's gonna it, this it, this shit is not easy I'm happy to let me uh, keep my control point. I got this yesterday. Um, f forgive me if I if I sound a little too proud of my um, control points. These things are a bitch to get. My control points are a bitch to get. Um, on this difficulty, at least. Now, we will, we, will, we will be breaking down some of our other armor pieces so that we may um, uh, get uh, free up some space because we're going to get some loot today. Uh -huh. And that's what makes this game so fun, is they're they're extremely generous with their uh, with their with their loot. Again, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You know, I I I'm uh, God bless you guys if you if you like Destiny, man. But I tried Destiny back in the day, and it just it it just rubbed me the wrong way, uh, specifically because of the fact that when I tried to play, uh, it I had to go through in the an entire mission just to get the things that I wanted to do to keep playing. And so what I felt like they were doing to me on my experience is they were, they were throttling my experience and having me consistently go through the same missions over and over again just to get one item. And so after like the second or third time of running a specific mission to get a specific item and not getting it, I just quit on the game altogether. Um, it's just it's just not really fun, the carrot on the stick, man. That's, that's, that, that's not fun to me. I like, to, I like my time to be uh, respected. And I feel like if you want me to use the same shitty guns to get something better, whether it be an, a speci a one single armor piece or one single weapon, uh, and and I have to play a mission for like 15 to 20 minutes just to get one, then I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm good. Uh, I'll be I'll be all right. Now I'm sure the game's better now, but again, first impressions for me are everything, and I just feel like the game didn't really respect my time. So now that I'm playing the Division Two, getting all kinds of loot. Again, I can. It, you will see how the way the way the loot drops in this game, and what makes it even more fun, 
um, is the fact that I don't have to worry about uh, doing an entire mission to get one item. Like these these random assholes could drop the exact item that I'm looking for, and then I can just leave. But again, I choose to stay and fight because for one, the game's gunplay is really fun, and because of the fact that again, I can get more. I'm gonna get more stuff. There we go. Okay, we need. We're gonna need a bigger mag for this. Oh, I forgot. These are the true sons. Oh god. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. You guys are true sons. Please, please, not like this. Oh yeah, yeah, just like this. Yep. Oh Jesus. Now imagine if I weren't if I weren't in a tanky build right now, I'd be already dead. I just I would rather not spend my time just hiding in cover the entire time. Okay, cool. Now my friends should be here to eat some of the bullets. Let's hope that they actually do show up and show out for your boy. But yeah, man, be sure to follow me here on Twitch, man. I have a YouTube channel, too. I'm going to set up a channel dedicated to my live streams as well, because I don't send stuff like this to my YouTube channel. We do different things uh, there uh, all together. Um, here on stream, though, we, we come in here, we have fun, we play games that I, I don't feel would fit on my YouTube channel. And we just kind of, like, chill out and just talk about everything, you know? I mean, every opinion is welcome, and every discussion is welcome, man. I don't mind discussing things with people. I've always been a very open-minded person. And so, like I said, if we're talking like controversy, like what, you know, what's better, gameplay or story, again, I would love to have that conversation. And I would love to see people's uh, perspective on it as well. Like, that stuff is actually pretty fun to me. I love discussing things. And yeah, I know a lot of YouTubers and streamers try to avoid, you know, hard topics and things like that because, you know, they want to keep the, the fun I guess, or the ambiguity of their, you know, stance on things, because they, again, they don't want to offend anybody. But again, I, I, I take the other approach, not necessarily to offend people, but like to see the other side of the argument for people. Like, again, I feel like that's just as important because, you know, you, you stay in your bubble for too long. And again, the, the world becomes more and more of a, of a place that caters to you. And so when people have different opinions on something, whether it be something as small as, you know, you know how they like to play their video games, you're going to get upset and angry, you know, because, again, how could you ever like, you know, for me, it's like, how could you ever like Resident Evil 6, Jasper? That game is fucking terrible. Again, I love Resident Evil 6. I do. I can tell you and I can tell you exactly why I like it, too, you know. But again, I wouldn't mind getting into a discussion with someone um, on why they don't like it or why they feel like it's not a good game. You know, I would love to know exactly how the game hurt you or what it did, you know. And if you can give a compelling ar a, a compelling argument, you know, again, I feel like arguments don't have to be arguments. They can just be discussions, man. You don't have to insult somebody just because they have a different opinion. I mean, the only time I would actually insult somebody for having a different opinion is if they're insulting me first. That's it. But at that point, like I said, we're not really conversing or, or discussing. We're just basically in a slap fight of who can who can make who feel worse. And again, that's not really fun to me. So I don't, I choose not to argue at all. Uh, a good chunk of my uh, teenage and young adult life, actually my kid life too, has been heavily centered around arguing with people. And it's just, at this point in my life, I'm 27 years old and I'm just too old for it, honestly. I'm just way too old. <laughs> I don't have time to argue anymore. If you really feel that strongly about something and you don't want to discuss it, then don't discuss it. Just don't. Okay, see, this is why I get the pulse thing out, man. Uh, I don't have time. To, I don't have time to equip it though. There we go. But I think our gun's actually doing pretty good, especially with the with the extended mag we just we just equipped it to it. This is actually working pretty nice, all things considered. I like the extra LMG damage too. Um, we're up at, at a very hard 80k right now with high, high accuracy. We gotta, we're, trying, we're trying to get that headshot so we can get so we can mark them. There we go. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. When we when we hit someone with a headshot, uh, we we mark them and they turn uh, whatever color they are. Like this guy should turn yellow since his health bar is yellow, and then he should be pulsed and I should should be, should be able to see him behind walls. And when he's as he's marked, if I shoot him with body shots and headshots, I get my shield. I get like a shield back. So that's what I'm trying to do with these guys, which is why I want a very accurate light machine gun. 
and not just a light machine gun in general. So that guy right there, he's pulsed. Well, he was. So I can get some extra stuff back. Damn. I'm not getting not a single headshot on him. So I didn't get like a, not a, so I just shot like 80,000 bullets and not one of them hit him in the face. All right. All right, that makes sense. Hold on, let me, see, let me get a little closer. That kind of defeats the purpose getting up close, right? There we go. We got him. All right, we can see him through walls, so he's going to be giving us some uh, some uh, health and uh, shield back. We just got to keep hitting him in, in the head so the timer doesn't, so the timer uh, can reset on the five seconds. Because they're pulsed and, and, and able to be seen through walls for five seconds after hitting them in the head. And if I hit him in the head again, it, it, it starts that five second uh, countdown. There we go. See that blue health down there? That's what I'm trying to get as high as possible. So I also want a very high rate of fire so I can fill it up a whole lot faster too. But I don't think there's an attachment that ups the rate of fire for this. Oops, wrong gun. Let me see. Reload speed. Uh-huh. Headshot damage. <sighs> Accuracy, but more stability. Uh, well weapon handling that's really good though too i like the optimal range so i can get them from a long distance uh is this low the damage fall off i want it to be as high as possible oh yeah i forgot the more the further that i am from my target the more damage i do i forgot about that that's that's my what my gun's passive so i want to be far away i don't want to be up close okay um, let me see because sometimes when you let me see what's my passive okay all right, hold on, hold on. So we're, we're just stacking up the LMG damage here. Let me do this. Motherfucker think they can hide from me. Oh, they moved. Fuck, I was going to throw a grenade. <laughs> I'm about to throw it a granada. I'm just not getting no headshots, so we, we just don't hit headies around here. There we go. That's that extra armor right there, so it keeps. It, I'm able to stay out and stay out of cover, but I still don't want to get surrounded though. Okay, let me do this. Oh! I'm sad. I'm sad. Oh, she could have blasted and killed me, like, in an instant. All right. I don't like pulling out my shield too often. I know it seems like, oh, Jasper, this is this, this shield right here is really good. Why don't you just, you know, use your shield all the time? I don't have enough damage output from the front with my shield. It's specifically there just to help make sure I don't die so I can get into cover, heal up, and then come back at a different angle. We're trying to be as efficient as possible, and using the shield might be very protective, but it's not really efficient in keeping our... our, our uh, enemies dead and that's that's what we're going for man that's what we're going for we're going for dead enemies as quick as possible we're also getting uh, armor pieces off of them uh but it looks like to me that the build might not be that good um unless i'm going to be up close because it's really hard to hit headshots from such a far distance and uh and i and i like f shooting from afar uh specifically because of the fact that i'm able to not die instantly but if I want to proc my armor pieces uh, passive, I'm going to have to be a little up close to them. And sometimes being up close means being out in the open. So I'm kind of chasing this guy down right now just so I can get my passive up. <laughs> so maybe I, sh maybe I should also always play for the passive. Okay, hold on. Let's go, asshole. But it does help me do things like this. Basically, I can actually, you know, maybe it is good if I want to rush somebody down. Maybe it'd be like a good rush down item. Like I can sit at the far, you know, and and get that passive, you know, extra damage from my weapons passive because it gives me extra damage the farther I went, I, the further I am from my target. But if I want to rush someone down like this, I can get up close to them and get that. Yeah. Hold on a second. I think we might be onto something. Let's keep using this. Hold on. Let's keep using this. Again, for, for those who don't know how the division works, I am so sorry for all the jargon that I am using here. I'm so sorry that I'm not really making much sense 
and even people who who do play the division who don't know exactly all the terms that i'm using because jasper i don't know what kind of build you're trying to do i also do apologize i'm trying to make as much sense as i possibly can while also getting shot at by these assholes and not trying to die what's up buddy you okay what what happened oh shit what's up buddy Okay, man, I know. I understand, dude. I understand. I, I, I get it, man. I understand. Let me, uh, if, I'm going to see if I can actually simplify this. All right, cool. So, my armor passive allows me to gain armor if I'm able to hit a headshot on an enemy. Um, and for five seconds after the headshot, I'm able to gain armor for each time I shoot them. My weapons passive allows me to do more damage the further I am away from my target. And so what I'm trying to do is get headshots from far away while also um, being a, uh, while also trying to get that passive damage on my uh, weapons passive. Wow, I really fucked that up. I didn't explain that right at all. All right, well. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll keep trying my best to explain it in due time. I'm trying to get that headshot, though. There we go. Okay, we can't really rush her down. Hold on, let's try it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit! Hold on. Hold on, let me see if we can rush her down. Let's see if we can get that headshot. Hold on. Did we get a We didn't even get the headshot on that. That sucks. I'm sad. I'm really sad. We didn't even get the headshot after rushing her down. We gotta get, we gotta get better at aiming. That's basically all that means. I appreciate you guys coming out to the stream. I appreciate you guys coming out to the to the VOD to come watch me uh, try my best to not die in this game. Again, uh, I the, the Division is one of the games I absolutely enjoy. I know a lot of people might not understand or like the game too much, or you know, not might not even know what this game actually is. But the fact that you guys come out here for me, man, and you guys want to just come out, and just watch me, just shoot people up i really appreciate it uh, it means the world to me um uh growing up actually because i actually do like streaming they're reviving somebody over here oh no that's a reviver that purple dude he has a plus symbol above his health uh bar if you look closely yeah that 40 with the plus symbol he can actually revive people we gotta take him out now oh shit hold on let me get him now oh no yeah 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 Okay, yeah, where's that guy behind me? Which, it's back because I'm backing up toward him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's going to revive somebody else. Fuck. Here, hold this lady. Shit. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Fucking die. All right. Oh, where's that asshole at? I got to find him. He's going to just keep on reviving people. He's over there. I think that's him. I see a purple over there. That might be him. Shit. There you go. Yep, that's him. Ah! Don't know how I got electrocuted, but fuck it. He's down. All right, I take that steel. I can use that to craft more weapons. I need to actually grab more steel just in the general sense. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, the passive armor on this isn't really that good because I need I just I think I just need more bullets. I mean like I said, the damage is there, right? Like we're 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 putting out like shit tons of damage. It's just I don't think we're putting out enough bullets to justify our armor regen. Cause the more bullets, the more armor we get back. And if we have to reload, that's that's time that we're not letting off bullets. So I got an idea. Maybe Hold on. Maybe I need a new passive for my weapon. Here, let me do this. That motherfucker has an RPG. We do that around here now? We do RPGs? Oh, he didn't want to get shot at all. My man's dodging like Neo from the Matrix. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Could have easily died there. The man could all he had to do is just shoot us once. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, this feels good. This feels really good. Ooh. This gun is fucking amazing. I love... Again, this is a light machine gun, by the way. These things aren't supposed to be accurate. But this is why I've always loved this uh, type of LMG. It's because it's always been... I can always use it as an AR on the side. Always love this gun. Always love this LMG. All right, cool. You guys good? We all right? All right, friendly takeover in progress. I think someone's up there. All right, let's go. I think they might be on the other side of this thing over here, though. These guys don't count. Wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah, they, these guys shouldn't count. Wait. Who's left? We'll, we'll talk about my theater background in a, in a minute. Let me just focus real quick. Let me see if I can find that one person. Maybe it is those guys down there. Maybe I'm just crazy. I didn't think they would be a part of this. Yeah, I guess they are. But yeah, I do like I do like jumping on this on the camera and actually, you know, putting on a show for you guys and and, you know, playing video games and stuff. I, I like being in front of an audience. I've been in theater since I was in the sixth grade and I and I didn't think I would like it so much. Actually, no, no, I was actually interested in that opportunity. Actually, I actually want to be on stage. Honestly, I was never I was always a shy kid. Like, I don't really like in real life. Like, I don't really talk that much, you know, uh, but when I'm in theater, man, it's just I'm a completely different person and on and on camera, of course. Um, I, 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 I do love being in front of an audience and being in front of an audience and being around people. It, it's completely different. Like I said, people to me, they're not, it's just, you know, it's just a little awkward for me to talk to people just in a general sense. I mean, I come off as very charismatic. I come off as someone who doesn't really mind coming, uh, talking to people like, right. I, I can put on an act that like, that's no problem, but it just talking to people isn't really something I like to do, um, in the general sense. I'm not trying to see like people scared me or anything. That's not really the the problem. It's just people are just you know they're just not really my my thing that I like to like talk to. So if I do talk to individuals or I do because I don't really have like any friends really, uh, mainly because I it's really hard for me to what's the word when it comes to having friends. It's really hard for me not to take things personal when they do things that that really upset me, you know. Uh, so. Again, I usually cut those people out of my life because I just rather not. Like, again, if, if, if I do tell you, if I tell you that I don't like some a certain something, right? And you're like, okay, cool. I know that you don't like this certain th something. Let me do that anyway as a joke. It's like, bro, then you don't really respect me. Again, you would understand that, you know, putting the precursor of a joke over completely disrespecting and not understanding why I told you why I don't like a certain thing, it lets me know that you really don't respect me. You know, that's just kind of how I see it, at least. And so I don't really, I don't really like people because, you know, so far every person has basically tried my patience in a way, you know, it's okay, buddy. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't get along with people in general. I mean, I can, that's no problem. You know, it's just having friends has always been hard because people have, uh, stereotypically people haven't really been that nice to me, if that makes any sense. And uh, the other side of the coin, right, is, well, Jasper, maybe you're the dick, right? Maybe you're just, you know, maybe you're just easily offended, right? Again, I'll take that. But my thing is, let's just say that I am the problem and I'm the one that's being easily offended. Is that really someone you want to be friends with? You know, let's just say that I am the problem. It's like, it, then I just feel like maybe it's best that we don't be friends if I'm a person that doesn't really take your jokes as jokes and i take them so personally maybe i just maybe we should maybe it's best we don't be friends again the last thing i want to do is make my make anyone else's life harder so if me being if me being you know overly if that's the case then you know of course if me being overly um uh, offended you know is an issue then like i said it's just best that we don't be friends because that means i'm not going to be a good friend to you that means you can't really be yourself because you're so afraid of offending me all the time and that's not fun for anyone and so that that's the other side that I always think about too, rather than me just thinking like, you know, okay, people are the problem. Like I said, if I'm the problem, I'll just I'll just walk away. It, it's better for everyone, you know. Find you a friend that you know doesn't take things as serious. This robot has to fucking go like right now. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I've always loved theater and putting on performances for people, you know, uh, regardless of my very antisocial nature. Uh, believe it or not. And I think it's just because of the fact the reason why I'm so antisocial is because I am I am not I'm a very abnormal person, you know. 
but again uh again i've always i've always loved putting on shows for people like like this this is fun i like i love twitch i love this i love having a platform to 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 give you guys a show you know and to you know kind of you know throw my feelings out there about certain you know situations that are happening out in the world like super mario and that that fiasco that i call a fiasco of course um and you know video games and even you know some certain uh oh shit okay i'm gonna die i'm assuming that these guys are the ones i need to kill i just don't know why the fuck they're a across town all right cool let me just go ahead and take one of these. I got two more health packs left, so let's, let's not just run out to the open and squander that. Peek me. Peek me, you bastard. Peek me. There we go. All right. Retrieve the cash key. This is for a different mission altogether. Oh, so what's going on back there? Where's the last guy at? All right, I'll open the cash, man. Fuck it. That's just more stuff for me. Cool. Badger Tough ain't bad. I, like, I actually like the Badger Tough uh, uh, company. They make, they make some really good stuff. Their passives, at least, are really good. All right. Oh, cool. I got a, a Q39 or a 930-something-something. It's a pistol. All right. Now, do we ever get this place back, or are we still shooting absolute fuck all? Okay, they're still hiding from something. What and who are you guys hiding from? Bro, I would have been at this place if this game were to just let me know where these enemies are. Okay, cool. Let me let me have, head out here. I'm pretty sure they're just out here, probably like stuck in a wall or something. Yeah, because it's not owned by anyone. Oh no. What do I what do I do? Do I leave and then come back? Guys, what are we what what are what exactly are we doing? Okay. Those are new people. Those aren't even people. We need. <laughs> no, man. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and leave and then come back. That's what we need to do, man. This shit right here. Th this shit right here. Let's just do that. <laughs> I was hoping to just take this point over, man. We're about to take over the White House area. The White House district, man. I was excited. Now I got to fight these fake Avengers here. Fucking... Ah, oh, gee, these, these assholes. The fucking sh shield trash cans and throwing axes and shit. All right, cool. Uh, let's let's go ahead and leave. Uh, what we need to do anyway is get our build together. Uh, so we're gonna leave this place alone for right now. We almost took over the White House. Like the White House is almost done. Ooh, okay. The loot allocation up here. So I'm looking up at the very top up here, and it says increased loot allocation. It says Hunter's Fury. Now I don't know what Hunter's Fury is, but it sounds like a more damaging type of uh, gear set. Do we already have that? We might have already. They might have already dropped something of that. Cause we, I don't know what the passive is on that. Here it is, Hunter's Fury. So it is a damage, shotgun and SMG damage. Three pieces, armor on kill, health on kill. That's really good for a damage piece. That's actually really fucking good. Okay, and the four pieces is the big passive, Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 may receive a debuff. Applying your weapon damage against them by 20. Wow, that's really good. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon dis in your disorients other enemies within five minutes improvise the weapon damage by five percent wow that's really good that's really really good all right cool now we might not go for that though uh because we're not really going for a damage loadout we want to go for more skills but it's still good nonetheless right it's still good all right so let's not worry about taking this place over because this place is fucking stupid hmm Let's focus on taking some other places that might have some shit that we actually need. Now, I thought that we got ourselves a new pistol as well, so let's check that out. 
Yeah, this is actually pretty. This is pretty nice. Optimal range is actually pretty pretty high. Uh, accuracy, usability. So how does this stack up against my uh, Desert Eagle? Let's, let's go ahead and try because this, this will actually be a really nice sidearm for our uh, shield. All right. Well, let's see if it's any good first. So let's head over to the next town. Uh, do we want Constitution Hall, Downtown West? Oh, it's next to a settlement. So yeah, let's take this place. This would be nice. Um, having a settlement uh, along with control points around it is actually really nice. Um, we're going we're gonna to come here, take a control point, head back to the White House District, and take over that other control point. It should still be white by the time we go down there, so they might respawn the enemies or wherever the fuck that person is stuck at. Should come back into the game and we should be fine from there. We'll see. Okay, let me also do this too. Make myself a little brighter. I don't see why not. Mm. All right. But yeah, no, I just, I mean, even growing up, I've always been a, kind of an awkward uh, kid. I mean, like I said, people tend to like me. The, the awkward part doesn't really come from my end. It's just the fact that I always feel awkward when I'm around people. That's the thing. But I do love, like I said, but I do love being in front of an audience. All right, let's see what they're selling here, because I think each vendor sells something different. Hopefully they're selling something good here. Ooh, okay. Let me also check my microphone to make sure it's not buzzing. Okay, that's good too. All right. Uh, right now, I am playing on Xbox One, my guy. Uh, white controller and all. That doesn't. I mean, I could have just said Xbox One. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do you got for me, man? What what we got? Uh, all damage items. Steel harness, traps. What you, what you play on, my guy? Uh, okay, so the vendors don't really have much down here, so we're gonna head over, take a fucking control point, and try our best not to fucking die over and over again. Cause we also need, um, we also need to keep on taking these control points so we can consistently get more um, blueprints. Cause we need more blueprints so we can start crafting more weapons and items, man. Because I, I don't like the fact that I go to my fucking crafting table and I only have like two or three weapons to craft. I want to craft like a bunch of shotguns and a bunch of LMGs and a bunch of pistols. Okay, see, that right there, that's a good question. Because I know that a lot of people feel differently on it. My opinion is every game in the world should have crossplay. Every game. Uh, the only time you shouldn't have crossplay is between PC and consoles, specifically for PvP centric games, but it should still be an option. Uh, that's it. Other than that, I feel like The Division should be a crossplay game. I, I should be able to play with any of my friends on a, on a separate console or be able to make new friends on other consoles you know but that's ju that's just me I, I don't even understand why this why why this should even be a debate between you know gamers and developers every developer should strive to try their best to make sure that their games are cross-play especially games like these you know what i mean because these games are these games stream you know i want to play co-op but you know it, it'd be nice even for me as a streamer it'd be nice for me to jump in with like a few of my viewers and and even if they're playing on you know switch or whatever and we all have a good time and or again if someone feel if one of my friends feels more comfortable playing on the switch it's like okay you don't have to worry about you know getting an xbox one to play with me dude you're fine it's okay buddy but i feel like the reason why the debate's been happening for so long and why more free-to-play games do it rather than games that you have to pay for is that triple-a companies know well, well it yeah, I think AAA companies know um, that. I, I feel like it's more of a of, of a development thing, you know. I, I can't really put my finger on exactly why developers do it like this, but I know free to play games usually always have crossplay, uh, like games like Smite and like Paladins and Fortnite and things like that, basically. Um, because again, you want to get as many people playing your game as possible, and not you know, and you want to make sure you're if if you're that your player base is as healthy as possible, you know? And having that cross-play allows people on Xbox, even, even if there's a low player base there, to then be added to, you know, the Switch and the PlayStation and the PC, which makes the player base a lot huger, 
you know, for free to play games. So for games like The Division, like AAA games, they should always strive for it. Always. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Ranked is something completely different. That's why I say that, like, because I know for a fact that Switch players, their controllers aren't as, I would say, competitive as PlayStation and Xbox. You know what I mean? I, I, that's the best way to put it. And I wouldn't want to play against Switch players. Plus, most people who do play on Switch, uh, stereotypically, I'm not saying that everyone is, stereotypically are younger uh, children, basically. So I would hate for any uh, kids or younger or younger audiences to come through and play a ranked game, basically, and not do as well as their more grown, you know, counterparts. I'm just saying, stereotypically, more kids play on Switch, you know? I'm not saying that kids can't be good, uh, but again, like I said, that's going to mess up the ranked experience for people. So yes, I, I do believe that player matches, basically, so, yes, should definitely be uh, cross-play, um, for sure. But ranked, yeah, should definitely be a, a, a completely separate beast, and should be treated separately as well. Like I said, I, I love me some crossplay, man. There's nothing like, you know, for me, bring, bringing a community even closer together. Again, that's the community is your lifeblood of your video game, man. So you, you might want to, you know, try your best to cater to those people as best you can. Again, I might be a division player on Xbox, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm any different from a division player on PlayStation. You know, we're all fans of the same game. So I feel like it would be great for us all to enjoy you know, the same game together, regardless of, uh, of console. This guy better back the fuck up off me right now. What the fuck are you trying to do, my guy? Okay, yeah, this, this, uh, pistol ain't doing shit for me. Jump! Why didn't my character jump? Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Let's change this gun. I'll get to that question. Give me one second. Let me just try my best not to die. There we go. There we go, there we go. I will get to your question. Give me a few seconds. Let me get these assholes real quick. <laughs> oh, gotta switch, gotta, gotta, gotta maneuver. Okay, I can breathe. Let's see here. Oh, that sucks with the pro controllers, man. I didn't know that, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, my favorite build, uh, for the division at least, man. I love the tanky high, um, uh, the the tanky LMG build, man. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, that and the supportive one. Um, I'm actually working on a build right now to where I can actually have um, a lot of skill tiers, so that I can also heal my friends whenever I'm a, I'm a part of a group, or in the dark zone. Because healing, uh, I love in, in every game that I ever play, man. I love playing support. Support it support and tanky are some of my favorite like it's it's it feels nice to be able to know that I'm the reason why my team won and I help my team perform basically uh, People don't understand how clutch support actually is to a team like that shit's fucking clutch You're you're about to get ready to die. Nah, buddy. You got a support character who's gonna heal you up Oh, you're about to die. No, man. You got a tanky character who's gonna jump on to the front line and take the bullets for you Or even take the or even take the the, the attention and aggro like bro. That shit's really cool to me. Oh no no you're fine dude no you're fine. Again I I don't I don't really necessarily feel rushed. Uh, I just I'm just excited about the conversation that we're having. I, I like to I like I like these kind of discussions. So it's it's all on my end. You're you're fine. Uh, I do I, but I do appreciate uh, the message to relieve the anxiety if I were to have any. <laughs> that is my friend. I am so sorry for hemming you up in the back. But yeah, no, I, I do love the tanky supporty builds. I just don't have a support build, a support healing build in, in the division just yet. But I'm, I'm working on it, man. I'm fucking working on it right now. And I'm hoping, hopefully I can get there at some point. That's my friend. Okay, there's their leader right there. There we go. Are we done? All right, cool. So we got we to gotta wait for the defense now. Oh, these fucking control points are fucking marathon sprints. All right, I'm ready to defend. Oh, is that really what they do with the with the uh, the technician? Really, they get a free. So basically, I can there's there's a possibility I can be in um, overdrive mode. I think that's, I think that's what they call it. Am I really about to die? Wow, I'm really about to die right now. Oh shit. 
And I'm stuck in the fire. Oh, hopefully this guy can get to me. Unless he's down. Come on, guy. Get to me. Get to me, guy. Get to me. Oh, I don't think he's going to get to me in time. Oh, he got to me. Help me. <laughs> cool. Oh, thank God. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, all right. We are we are sitting beautifully right now. That could have been so much worse. Okay, so where are these assholes at? Let's get them. Where are they? I hear yelling and screaming, but I don't see any bad guys. Okay, looks like my friends are going down that way. Let me see. No, I think it's called overcharge. Overcharge mode. Yeah, I know. I understand. I think... Okay, there we go. There we go. These are the assholes I need to kill. Uh, currently, my build right now is if I'm able to hit a headshot on somebody, basically, they become marked for five seconds. And if I shoot them after or well, as they're marked... Uh, I get I get armor back, and I'm trying my best to f uh, see if I if I need to either change my gun to a, a gun that has more bullets, or if this uh, if my current LMG is actually doing good enough for my tanky build at least. Because I want I want an open world build, I want a tanky build, and then I want a uh, uh, a support build. All right, cool. Oh, he is. He made me up in the back. Okay. All right. You, you, you do that. Let me get up here. Oh, please don't jump into an enemy. Okay, you're a friend. Okay, we got two health packs left, so we got to be careful. Ooh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's what I want right there. Again, um, not many items in the game give you overcharge. Well, give you a free skill tier. Basically, I think it's usually under like uh, certain circumstances with either weapon passives or like armor passives. Can we not just get? Can we not get ourselves set on fire, Jazz? Thank you. But yeah, being overcharged, man. That's 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 why I aim to, to be all the time. I just haven't gotten any weapons or gadgets that allow me to uh, to hit that that threshold all the time. Okay, that's their leader. Where's his friends? Where are his friends? There we go. And we are done. Yes. I never really have a lot of faith that we're ever going to take all of these uh, control points. I never have the faith, man. This shit's fucking difficult, especially on the difficulty I have it set on. So we're doing pretty, we're doing pretty nice, all things considered, man. Not bad for playing by ourselves, and I don't know what season level up means. I've been getting that a lot, but it's, it has that teal color in it, and it makes me feel special. Okay, what's what's the uh, passive on this? Using an armor kit has a 50% chance not to consume the armor kit. Specialization armor kits bonuses are increased by 100%. Ooh, that's nice for a, for if I want to do uh, more skill st skill based stuff. Especially if I'm using armor kits all the time because I'm gonna be you know not as tanky. All right. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay. So, how do I? So, is there like a battle pass section somewhere? Because I've yet to see it on on the game. I I have yet to see anything requiring a battle pass or saying something about battle passes i'm assuming it's somewhere but i've yet to see it because again that's what i thought it was i thought it was a battle pass but it's like i just said season level up i'm like okay so how do i how do i get there i'm assuming hold on wait maybe it's the store if not doesn't that's not progression oh okay uh, should be at the base of operations, and I think we can check. Okay, okay, that makes sense. All right, let me see. Is it? Ah, it's right in my 
face. It's right there. I appreciate that. So now I can actually see what I'm going to get on the free track at least. All right. So let me see. So I was wondering what I was, what was wondering what all this stuff was. Okay, so season 10 is what we're on right now. These are coming soon. So this one's these two are ongoing. This one has 7 hours left. So this is what we're doing currently. Okay, and when I do... Th okay, that makes sense. Let's open this real quick, though, while we're, while we're here. Yeah, that's all right. That's an okay weapon skin. I'm more of a solid type of weapon skin kind of guy. All right, cool. So I'm level 7 right now. Okay, rewards track is Y. Oh, I appreciate it. This makes so much sense. Again, I'm a, I'm a returning player. I just started playing Division like three days ago. I used to play it like religiously back in the day. Like it was actually kind of alarming how long I played the game <laughs> and how much I played it. Um, I actually jumped off because I thought my game was glitched and I couldn't upgrade my, my workbench and I got really mad about that. But jumping back into the game, turns out I just needed to upgrade a little bit more. So, I was just, um, so I'm mad at myself for being mad at this fucking masterpiece of a game for so long. Uh, let's see here. So my next one on the free track, which I think is the one above, would be these vests and backpacks. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. And let's keep doing stuff. See, and that's one of the reasons why I love the division so much, man. They 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 don't stop giving. Like this game isn't afraid to give you shit just because. Like you go out, you 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 you're not even doing a full mission, but as you play the mission, they give you like reward after reward, gear after gear piece, gun after gun. And it's just I've not I'm not used to games being so generous, man. It reminds me of Borderlands, but better because Borderlands sometimes drops gear or weapons that you can't really use, basically. And at one point you do out level your world. You know, unless you go into the next difficulty. Here, the game actually upgrades with you. So, me standing in, like, let's just say I want, I spent my entire game, right, sitting here in downtown, shooting enemies to level up to level, you know, 30, 40, 50. They're still going to drop items for my character, oh shit, that I, that I can still use, you know? And that's what makes the game so fun, because in some games, you know, you, you sit in one area to farm, and at one point you out-level everyone. So, it just you kind of feel forced to go off to other places or one of my least favorite things is you're forced to go off an instance with randoms you know and again and again that's fine you know you can say that jasper instancing you know like in destiny or something like instancing is good you know because you know you get to meet new people and you know the missions are very long and you guys can have a really fun and again that's fine and everything but you're also saying that if the game isn't as popular and i need to instance with people for a certain mission i might not be able to play it Therefore, now my progress has been throttled because it's based off of the fan base, right? And it's like, that's not really fun. Or the mission that might be unpopular with the fan base. Like, that's not really fair. It really throttles the experience for me, you know? And so I kind of sit in this awkward position where I kind of just want to, you know, sit back and just enjoy the games that I play. You know, but it's like, okay, in order for me to enjoy the game, everyone else has to enjoy it just as much as I do because without the fan base, I can't do certain missions or get certain weapons. It's like, it's not like that with this game, you know? And on top of that, even even though the world does level with you, you can still up the difficulty so you can get even better gear, which that's even fucking crazier to me. I'll drop my phone. And it's just it's it's it just makes me so happy that a game respects my time. Uh, but if you check le yesterday's stream, I was actually looking for a certain armor pieces. And when I went off to find those, I'm thinking, you know, I go off. I'm like, okay, give me about you know 30, 40 minutes so I can get those armor pieces for my character um, by completing some of the control points, you know. And on my way to going there is I was able to already pick up those armor pieces just because I was in that district that the loot dropped in. I didn't have to play any main missions, basically, and go through the entire like 20, 30 minute main mission or to get that armor piece that I was looking for. And I didn't have to finish the control point that I was playing in order to get those armor pieces I was looking for either. You don't need to finish anything. You just have to fight enemies and that makes it so much fun. Again, it just, this game has, has perfected, in my opinion, it's perfected loot dropping. 
because it never says that okay jasper you have to play the game for you know 30 40 minutes go through an entire mission that doesn't give you any rewards just to go to a reward screen at the very end of that 30 or 40 minute long mission just to see if you possibly could get that thing that you're looking for it's like that's not respecting my time like you're not gonna sit here and give me this fake dopamine this fucking slot machine casino shit where I'm sitting here wasting my fucking time trying to get one item, you know? It's a video game. I'm supposed to have fun. And what game developers feel is that if we if we give the fan base the weapons and armor that they want from these games, they're going to stop playing. It's like, no, you fucking idiot. If you give me the shit that I'm looking for, I'm going to play your game more because I now have it, you know? They feel like doing the whole carrot on the stick you know, thing where, you know, you, you got to chase the unicorn and you, and you never catch it, it's going to keep you chasing it. It's like, yeah, for some people that works, you know, some people love that fake dopamine shit. I understand, you know, but for me personally, since I've played games like these for a very long time, I personally know that games purposely try to throttle your experience, you know, so you can keep playing. They, they, they make, they turn you into a mindless drone where you sit there and you just basically, you, there's no, you know, you, you don't feel anything. There's no, like, there's no emotions behind of what you're doing. You know, you're basically turning your brain off and shooting at random enemies just so you can get to that 40 minute mark. And then you finally wake up when you're on that reward screen. You're like, oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? But the, the entire 40 minute experience has been just you just sitting back, just pressing buttons and not really having fun. With this game, I'm actively looking at what I'm shooting and I'm actively engaged with who I'm playing against because I know they could potentially drop something, you know? On top of that, I know if I do lose after I picked up items, I don't lose those items. So it's not like if I picked up the armor piece that I'm looking for and I get fucking ass blasted by a tank with a minigun, I don't lose that gun that I earned, you know? And that's fun too. It makes me wanna go back for the challenge. You know, it's like, OK, I know I can beat this control point or I know I can beat this mission. Let me go back with this new armor piece or this new gun. I was able to get from that mission that I failed. And it's just like, that's fun to me. You know, that's fun. I like being able to that consistent progression. I don't like that 40 minute progression, man. I, I don't. I can't play games like those anymore. I, I've, I've played those games long enough, man. And I just I, I like games that more respect my time. And again, Division, even when it first released, man, I, I, this was the, one of the games I played the most because I was so used to games, like, not giving me anything. I didn't realize that games could just give you items just because you play their game. I didn't think games could actually respect your time. I thought that, you know, in this age of gaming that it's just, okay, yeah, it's just this one way and that's it. The Division has taught me different. Which, again, is sad because I know this game isn't really considered uh, one of the best looter shooters on the planet, you know? Not one of the best. People still play it and people still love it. I mean, I mean, you're here watching me play the game right now. So the game still has a fan base, which I'm happy about. It's just, I wish this, I wish a lot more games would take this into account, you know? I really do. Because they do everything right, man. I can walk down the street in this game and shoot random, random people in random encounters and get a super, uh, I get a super gun and a super item. Shit! I didn't call for my friends. Buildable exotics. Um, that's actually the reason why I stopped playing, funny enough. Is since I couldn't get my table up to from level 4 to level 5, um, I couldn't build exotics. And I was wondering why I, it was messed up or why I couldn't upgrade my workbench. And I went online and I saw there was a bug that people couldn't upgrade their workbenches. And I was like, but I want this exotic desert eagle that they have. And then, you know, people were like, man, I wish they would fix this bug. And I would actually wait you know, update after update and not seeing them actually fix the bug for the game. So I thought I was in a position where, okay, I'm never going to be able to build an exotic. And I just, it really made me upset because I put so much time into the game and I'm like, man, I I'll just come back when this game fucking works then, I guess. And so, yeah, no, I know about the buildable exotics. I just don't know how to build them. And that's what I wanted to get into since I'm in the late game stage right now, you know? Again, like running around shooting these assholes and dying left and right and having to redo my strategy and rethink my strategy and how I play. Like, this shit is fun. Like, doing this right here, this is fun to me. Like, I'm having the time of my fucking life. Like, this is really fun, you know? 
but again i want to get into other things too and that's that's the worst that's like the worst part about this game that like makes it so dangerous to me at least is just doing mundane shit is so fun and rewarding and then you want to tell me there's other shit that i could do i can build exotic weapons i can i can you know i can replay missions i can up the difficulty and get even and get exotic armor pieces you know, you want to tell me there's gear sets in the game that you can unlock that actually up that 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 redoes your build altogether? Like, bro, come on, man. This game is fucking goaded, dude. Like, there's so many different ways to play this fucking game, but my thing is you don't have to build your character in order to play. Like, I can just do this the entire time and be just fine. But again, the reason why I want to build my character is because, again, I've pretty much mastered the the core gameplay loop and I would like to get better. And the better that I get the gameplay loop, the higher I can crank up the difficulty so I can get more rewards for having a better build. Rather than using my normal build and just steamrolling over most of the NPCs in the game. It's just, oh, this game is orgasmic, uh, orgasmically good, man. It really is. Uh, died again. Uh, come help me, dude. Please. Yeah, I want to get the, um, I'll tell you what, what gear piece I'm looking for. Because I was actually going to look it up. Um, there's a Desert Eagle, man, that I'm trying to get. That I want to get exotic. That was actually the thing that, that broke my heart. Because if you see, you know, my sidearm is the Desert Eagle right now. So it's like, a, it's like an, I don't know what it was called. But that's what I'm going for, man. But that's another reason why I haven't gone for the exotic just yet. Because I want to get my build together. So when I start going to do those high-end missions to get that exotic unlocked. So I can start, you know, building it that you know my build won't be, my build can actually get me through those high level missions so that's why i'm here basically i'm here to basically practice out oh and also take the city back of course um i'm here to train get my get my get my level up and then take my knowledge and expertise into the exotic missions and stuff like that because there's like infinitely infinite things to do in this game that rewards you the same way and that's what makes it so good Again, doing this is rewarding. And then also going exotic hunting is also rewarding too because everybody drops shit like that. Everybody, everyone drops shit. You don't need to wait to the end of the mission to get that legendary item. Again, I don't even know what it, what it does, but I know legendary items all have passives on it. Uh, I think the chest piece and I think the pants. It might just be the chest piece, that, that the legendaries at least, that have passives on them, basically. So I just, I, it's, just it's just so good. It's so good. Oh yeah, no, and that that's the thing about crossplay. I told you uh, the fact that I don't like games like Destiny, and and like again, I used to play DC Universe Online as well, where you would have to you know get a fan get a, a player base together in order to do certain missions, and see what crossplay is gonna do. It even further circumvents that for games like these, you know. Again, further, there's even a, a higher chance you can do missions and people will actually join you and everything like that because there's more people getting your calls. So even though this game is good, you know, solo, in my opinion, it's a great solo game. It's even much more better with crossplay um, for uh, for the multiplayer missions. Wow, these guys are going to fucking kill me. And so, yeah, no, man, I, I completely support crossplay. Um, I know that it's been a little hard for, for PlayStation to play ball with Xbox and Switch, though. Um... At, at, at points. I remember there was an entire fiasco about that. Uh, not just crossplay with PlayStation, uh, but also like uh, modding as well. I think Skyrim and uh, Fallout 4. Um, Bethesda wanted to wanted the ability to for Xbox to mod like PC did, but PlayStation said we don't want to you know our people to mod game to mod the game or whatever because that's not how PlayStation is. You know, and, it, and I was like, that's a little weird, PlayStation. Why you gotta be so weird, dude? Why can't you just be good for the player, dude? So I, I feel like one of the reasons why crossplay is a little hard is because some people just don't want to play ball. But I, I think since we've had crossplay on multiple games like Fortnite and stuff with PlayStation, which I heard even that was like pulling teeth, I feel like now that PlayStation is starting to play ball a little bit more, I feel like now we can actually start getting more games like this to be crossplay. I mean, this. Um, Again, I, I think Destiny's already cross-play. I think it is. I don't know if it is or not. But like I said, these games, like these heavy multiplayer games like like this, needs cross-play. 
Like, it needs it. Uh, DC Universe Online as well, a game I used to play. Uh, instancing and, and, and strikes and raids and shit. Yeah, they need it crossplay as well. They don't have that. Therefore, the player base is going to dwindle. It just, it just, it gets, it gets weird to me that most game company companies don't, or not even game companies, but game developers don't see the, the, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, the, uh, the benefit from crossplay. It, it just, that just weirds me out. Because it's, it, it's really going to make your game live a whole lot longer. And like I said, even for people who play online, like, you know, if you ever go on Reddit or anything like that. Um, shit, I'm missing all my shots. I mean, there, there are people. <laughs> missed it again. There are people who are all, who, you know, who are, or even like uh, Reddit. I know there are like Facebook groups as well sitting around some, some certain games. Again, it helps those people who are saying, I need help on missions or I want to, you know, build a player, uh, uh, a group. You know, send it around this, this particular game because like, there's like Reddit groups for almost anything out there, especially video games. Is it it help those people who who are on PlayStation? Like, oh, this person is he might be on Xbox, but um, it looks like to me he wants to he wants to you know group up and play certain games as well. So let me join this Reddit group or whatever, and let me see if I can help him out whatever missions. Because I've been looking for some friends too. It's just none of my friends want to play uh, the Division or whatever. You know, so it's nice to actually find people that actually does want to play. So yes, man, crossplay is like it's the most goaded feature for any multiplayer game, dude. It's the most goaded feature, and it's and it's highly underrated right now. Highly, highly underrated. I just don't know why game developers just don't use it more often because it would, it would make games so much better. Even and you have to realize this is coming from someone who doesn't really play multiplayer that much. I don't play multiplayer that much, you know. But I still have a strong opinion on the fact that yes, in order to keep a game alive, you need the higher, the highest player base as possible, and crossplay is going to help you with that. Again, I want this game to succeed because it's really fun. I want this game to grow because it's really fun, you know. I'm not saying the game is doing bad, but it could be doing so much better. You know what I mean? <clears throat> So let's take this place over. Um, I'm glad you actually brought up the exotics thing because I need to go back and see what I need to do in order to get that exotic real quick. Because I want to actually start building that. Let me see. It's just that these guys have been killing me left and right, man. It's This has not been easy. And again, and, and if my gameplay does seem subpar, I, I, I would like to apologize, but not really. I am going to play this game the best way I know how. Um, I know, I'm sure there's like some dude that's on YouTube who can, who can clear this place in like three seconds because he's had some, some, you know, broken build from like, you know, two patches ago or whatever. Like, but I don't, I never find, I never find like copying someone's build fun. I always find the fun in actually finding my own build and my own broken loadout. Because then it, it more or less belongs to me. I figured this out, you know. I'm a very, I guess because I'm a very prideful person, but I like to earn not saying that, you know, looking up, you know, videos on how to, you know, play the game better is wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't like copying people's, you know, broken builds, you know. So I'd rather just, I'd rather play at my own pace and learn the game at my own pace, you know. Because that's what keeps me playing. Because then if I'm trying to get a build together, okay, so you gotta do this mission to get to get this item for your build. You gotta do that mission to get that item for your build. You gotta do this mission, do that. We gotta go here and do this mission five times. So it's like, then I, and then I, now I have a checklist, right? So now it's basically I'm turning my brain off and I'm waiting for to get my build together before it comes online and then when my build's online since it's so broken my brain's turned off again because i'm not because the game because the build is broken so i don't really have to do a lot of um thinking rather than me having to you know think about what i'm going to do for the future make my mistakes get better get stronger get more knowledge you know all that stuff comes with time you know so for me that's how i like to play my games you know, so I'm sure there's like some broken builds out there for for this game. I'm sure there is, but uh, I'm not really one of those people to actually do that. I like playing games at my own pace. Now, here's the thing: if this game didn't treat me fairly, right, and people instantly killed me when I walked out into the open, yes, I'm probably gonna look at some builds because I'm pretty sure I'm playing the game wrong. But if I'm able to at least survive long enough not to stay in an infinite loading screen of death, then I think I'm doing something right. I just assume. There's, there, for for me personally, there's like there's nothing like figuring out something broken, man. Like on your own, there's nothing like it. Oh, where'd my music go? Shit! Hold on a sec. Let me get my music back.
Bro, my music is gone, gone. Detecting additional hostile contacts. There we go. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get to that last one you said, but I I what uh, but the thing you said before I didn't even know it was harder to find matches on PlayStation. Right now. That that makes me sad as a gamer. I mean I I feel like you should be able to you know if you're if you're gonna do a multiplayer game you should be able to play man with your friends or with with randoms man if you choose if you so choose to. Again the fact that you're bringing up crossplay lets me know you know how to solve the problem. <laughs> You're not saying the game is so terrible that it can't keep a player, but you're saying the game is fun, but there, there's not enough people on your system willing to help you out with some of the missions you want to do. Again, it throttles your experience, man. It really does. It throttles it. And again, you play differently than I do, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the way that I play should be the way that you play, right? If you play a lot of multiplayer, then you should be able to have access to that. Um, that's one of the biggest misconceptions in gaming, too, that I absolutely hate with gamers in general. People have this thing when they feel like the way that they play is the best way to play. And so what they do is they say, well, every other way isn't that important. You know, I've seen that a thousand times where, you know, someone like me who plays a lot of PVE, like I do this a lot, would, would say that, hey, man, you know what? Crossplay isn't really that important because if you really think about it, when you play in the open world like I do, there's so much to do in the open world. There's so much to do here. There's so much content that you're missing out on because you want to specifically play PvP or you want to group up with your friends or with randoms. Like, bro, I'm not. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. Why are you trying to downplay someone else's feelings because they don't play the same way that you do? Yes, don't get me wrong. Like, I do feel that way, but I don't feel like that should be pushed onto everyone else. The Division is different. For me, The Division is a nice open world PvE RPG. But for you, it's a nice mission based, raid based, you know, uh, instancing group up type of multiplayer experience, you know? And it, it, it shouldn't have to be one of those things, you know? It shouldn't have to be. And so for me, sometimes when it comes to people, you know, having complaints about this stuff, what throttles the developers from, 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 doing the cross play or making decisions that help the player base is some YouTuber or some, you know, person who, who who's on some kind of forum basically gives you an entire dissertation of why your opinion is wrong. And so basically the developers see that and they're like, okay, cool. So let's not, let's not do it then. Since the entire fan base isn't on the same page of us moving in this direction, let's not do it, you know? But again, like I said, I'm never going to be that person. The division is different for us what when i think of the division is different than what when, when you think about the division but again we both play the same game and that's what makes it so good you know what i mean so yeah man it's it's sad that that you play playing on playstation is just it's just not as lucrative and a lucrative experience for you man and i'm really sorry about that because it shouldn't be that way but again, I feel like the I feel like the reason why this hasn't been crossplay yet is because the entire fan base isn't in agreement. Unless they are, uh, uh, enlighten me if they are 100% uh, on this, you know, and that the developers are just you know taking their fucking time not doing fuck all anything about it. Ah oh, shit, this is really bad. I'm in a really bad position right now. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh bro, back up from me. Back up. Thank you. Okay, someone's yelling at me. And it sounds like a big dude. Heal, 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 heal. Heal! There we go. Die! Come on! There we go. Keep a mark, keep the mark. Keep a mark. Yeah, he's gonna fucking tear me up. Alright. Okay. All right, my heart is uh, pumping right now. I think I think the person that can revive me is down right now. Hold on, let me see. Is he down? Because I need him. Okay, no, he's up. Oh, right, thank God. Just in case I make a mistake, I need to be next to this guy. Or at least, at least be alive. Come on, come on. There we go, yeah, just stay right there. Yes! That is another one down. 
Oh, wow, that was a fight, man. I fucking, I fucking love this. All right, cool. Uh, field recon data, blueprints, counterclockwise, tubular spring. Okay, so we got another blueprint. That's good. All right, let's open this. What we got? Oh, we got a heartbreaker set. Nice. We're actually running to heartbreaker right now, though, but we have another chess piece, which is good. Uh, Badger Tough. UMP5, that's okay. That's good, too. And we can't get... Why can't we get that? Last thing. All right. Next event cache and two something. I didn't even see what that said. God damn it. Uh, let's see here. I think it's like in two more level ups of the season. Let me see. Oh, and that's something... <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, give me a second. Let me not yell real quick, man. Give me let me get my words together first, man, cuz that right there th that right there. Okay. Can we please stop with this overpowered thing needs to be fixed, man? Can we stop that, please? That culture is fucking stupid. Let these people have this overpowered thing and you play the fucking game you need to play it. The only reason why this whole overpowered thing needs to be fixed is if it's a specific PvP game. That's it. That is the only time. And that's because it messes with everyone else's experience. I feel like it's the only time you should t look at overpowered builds. But if you are able, in a PvE space, if you are able to make the game so much better by learning and getting better and using your knowledge to the best of your ability to make the game that much more easier, you've earned that right to use that build and you should not be broken. You know, and again, it's just the, it's the whole choice thing, too. If you really don't if you really don't like this broken build then just don't fucking run it, you know what I mean? But again, that's the other side. But if I die in the game, if I was running that overpowered build, I wouldn't have died and had to get revived by my teammates or whatever the fuck else. It's just like, why do you spend your time looking for broken shit and then turning around and then complaining about the broken shit, you know? Again, like I said, the only time it should be like balanced is if it's a PvP space, and that's it. But there's such a there's there's this entire culture centered around wanting to be the most broken, overpowered shit and wanting to just break the game as much as possible. Let them do that shit, right? Let them, man. Let them do it. Let them break the fucking game, man. Let them have their own fun. But it, what what it does is it can take a weapon that I love and then throttle it down to to a to a way that it's not you know viable you know and i was using it the correct way and i put that in quote marks you know i don't think that's i don't think that's fun or fair but they're but but that's the thing about the youtubers and the streamers that's why people come out and watch them it's because you're an expert you know since you know the broken builds i'm going to come to your youtube channel not because you are a strong personality with cool opinions or you're or you're a cool guy to be around or i just enjoy watching your stuff no i come to your channel because you give me information about what makes the game easier to play it's like i don't like that kind of culture man i mean there's nothing wrong with informative videos and things like that but i feel like you know it, it, it goes a long way to be more of an entertainer than a person who goes off and wants to make videos about things that are just broken it's like, I just, that's not really fun to me, man. I don't understand how people can just do that. But again, it's for the YouTube and streamer views. It's, it's, it's basically, it's basically free. You know, you don't have to put any time or effort into being a personality. You just got to know what's broken and then talk about that broken thing because you don't need a personality to explain stats, you know? And so what that does is again, I could use like, again, I'll give you an example. My favorite weapon in this game right now is is the uh the l86 right but let's just say with a certain amount of attachments and the right gear set and the right uh um um passives on, on your on, on your abilities and that this weapon can go from 86,000 damage that is at right now up to 200,000 damage and you're basically flinging out 200,000 percent of damage to all the bosses and you're able to clear everything in like five seconds so you can keep on getting loot over and over again and that needs to be fixed and so they nerf it and my 86 that i'm at right now gets nerfed down to fucking 30 you know and it's like what happened why can't i use my favorite gun anymore because some other person you know said that it was broken and let them play let them do that they're going to continue to play the game anyway and keep continue to make content you know and so the developers see that as like okay that's a problem we got to fix that 
It's just, it's not, that does, that's not really fun to me, especially in a PV, PvE-centric game. Yes, there is PvP in this game. I understand that. But this is PvE-centric. Let them break the game. That's half the fun anyway for some people. But again, it's just when, when those people take that culture to the developers, and then it messes with my PvE experience. It's okay, buddy, here. Good. You're fine, dude. You're okay. Let me see. see and see, and that, that's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about right there. That's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So, I, I, an example would be, okay, so I want to get exotics, right? I'm going all the way down. Let me get all the way down. I want to get the exotics, right? I, without me even knowing that how this game's culture actually is, this is the gun that I want right here. This is the one that I want. This gun could possibly be not even worth it. It could be just as good as my current Desert Eagle because it's now worthless in both PvP and PvE, right? Again, I don't mind you balancing for two, two different game modes, right? Because PvP needs to be balanced. I understand that more than anything. But the PvE experience should always be tailored to the player because it's PvE. You know what I mean? If people are using broken builds, the best way to circumvent that broken build is by making a new difficulty centered around broken builds. That's why that way that broken build is considered balanced rather than nerfing the weapon. That's just how I see it. You know, that's how I would fix the weapon. I wouldn't nerf it across all game modes. I would just make a higher tier for broken builds. That way those assholes who like to make those broken builds and like making YouTube videos and stuff about it can stop making YouTube videos about it because now it's balanced. It doesn't mess with my experience playing The Division and it doesn't mess with their experience playing The Division. They can stop making videos on it. <laughs> or n that makes their videos more relevant, honestly, because now I want to go to the broken uh, tier of difficulty, but I need to learn a broken build. That's when their YouTube videos are now more relevant. So now everybody's happy. But that's just, that's just how I would fix it, though. That's just me. So for this one, I need to do what? Recover the trigger mechanism at the capital to discover the location of the next component. At the capital? The trickle component? Let's see. Hold on. At the capital here. So I think it's here. So I don't think it's the stronghold, right? It says at the capital. So I'm assuming I have to go here. So let's 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 go here. I think that's what they want me to do. But yeah, man, that's the thing that I really hate because it's not necessarily the video itself, right? Because it sounds like I'm mad at the YouTubers in, in, in general. I kind of am, right? But it's mostly because of this culture makes its way up the ladder to the developers and they look at it and they say, okay, we have to change this, but how? And I'm not gonna lie, developers aren't really the smartest people. They're, they're really not. Some, people, some of them don't know how to, they know how to make a game and they know, and they know how to release a game, but they, sometimes they don't know how to balance a game, you know? So it just, be, it, so it, it just kind of makes the, it kind of makes it a, a, a let me see. It just makes it a, a weird experience for everyone. Okay, it's cool. So, operator shoes, unmarked shade, restricted respawns. This one doesn't have. This one has restricted respawns. Huh. So how does this work exactly? It says I need to go to the Capitol building to get that piece. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have marked it. I'm such a dumbass. I should have marked it as, uh, as a project. That way they would actually let me know. Let me go back. I'm fucking stupid. And let me mark it as a project. Cause this would be my first time actually uh, building an exotic. Cause it looks like I get the trigger for it first, which sounds fun. So let's do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what all we need to do because I think we're about ready to start running some missions now. If this mission needs to be above uh, challenging, which is my current difficulty, um, I might have to go and actually <laughs> make my build just a little bit better. Um,
and and that's and that's something else too, man. That's like the sad part when you actually do like the gun and you want to, or you like that item or you like that build, and you're trying your best to now make it work. Again, it shouldn't have to be that way because, like I said, some people using the UMP5 right now doesn't have to make a build work around what they want to do. But now you have to do that with your certain gun that you fell in love with, you know. And like I said, it, this game is all about self-expression, right? Like it's about, in my opinion, it's about self-expression. And I self-express myself through my favorite types of guns. Ever since I was a kid, I used to love the Desert Eagle. That's what I run. I love LMGs. I run that too. I, again, I run them both here. When I used to play Battlefield, I used to run this particular LMG, you know? So I'm expressing myself through this game. Um, again, even with my character, with my character looks, again, I'm self-expressing myself. So if you tell me that I can't use the things that help me self-express myself, it's going to make me not want to play your game as much, you know? It makes the it makes the experience that much harder for me to and to enjoy, you know. And I don't think the game developers understand that. It's really important to make sure that everybody has a good experience with your game, man, and is able to express themselves that in a PVE space, uh, to be to be uh, more specific. So I have to get I have to get the blueprint first okay attributes mods that's so weird so how do i find this crafting cost cover the trigger mechanism at the capital to discover the location of the next okay so i have to go there but it's not letting me know what difficulty to be on in order to do it so resources no then we go categories it's like item compare well i don't have anything on it so it looks like I have to go to the capital. That's what it, that's what it looks like. So I guess I'll do that then. I guess what I can do as well is actually see if I can craft myself a heavy machine gun because I'm not gonna be in a, I'm gonna be in a lot of close quarter situations. So here, let me do this. Because I what I need to do is I need to get my build together for both play styles. So I need to get my LMG right. This is the one that I'm using here. Let's go ahead and change this passive on it. So say this. Uh, bleeding enemies, that'd be good. Measure the top heavy magazine has 20% rate of fire. Oh, that's actually pretty good. This would be really good on an actual LMG that has a lot of bullets on it, though. So, let me see. The rate of fire LMG, no replacements found. Measured. So, we need to actually start breaking down some more uh, LMGs. And getting their passive talents real quick. So what else do we? Because we only have status and ranger. We need some other ones. Measured. We already have that. Suppress an enemy. Max stacks. Hey man, dude. If you want to go ahead and play with me, that's that's no problem, dude. I don't mind playing with viewers, dog. I have no I, I have no problems, man. Again, what what what? This is what gaming is all about, my guy. It's, it's coming together and having fun, dude. Oh shit. Uh, but I will warn, I don't always play the Division, though. I'm on a Division kick right now, and I'm playing it pretty often. But again, I play games like Saints Row and, and, and like, you know, Realm Royale. So I, I do play other games. But again, if I'm streaming this game, bro, feel free to jump in with me. I honestly do not mind. The one thing, the, the things about the co-op experience in the Division is even if you're off doing something like this, I can be taking over a control point. So it's not like, you know, what you want to do in your quiet time is gonna fuck with my uh my you know uptime and vice versa so yeah man that'd be no problem i don't mind that sounds like the sound it's, it's all fun to me man let's see here uh it's just i do have a problem with my voice chat though so it, for some reason my xbox it's like it's weird with voice chat so you, i i won't be able to talk to you in the game for some reason it's weird my xbox it's just it's my xbox i gotta get a new one uh, but again, I if I'm streaming it, dude, I would more than love to play, man. That'd be no problem. That's no issue. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, I don't. I need to get a better passive for this because I don't know if say this is gonna be good enough. But I do. I do like this one here. The the measured. The measured sounds really good for this because having a high rate of fire on, on the on the back end it will be great. So let's actually try that. You know what? Let's be crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. And I think we can actually craft a few more LMGs as well. 
and uh, take their passives as well. Let me see. Yeah, because this one has the suppression thing, which we need to. That's not currently suppressed. Four. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's not that good. I will actually. We, we can just get rid of that. Okay, we're gonna keep that top half. We already have measured. Uh, that's an assault rifle. So, let's go ahead and craft some more. Um, craft some more LMGs and see if we can get some more passives. That'd be good. You see. So let's uh, let's do that. So let's uh, grab. I wonder, does steel come off of these things when I when I get rid of them? Let's see. Receiver component steel. It does. Good. Awesome. Great. All right. Cool. So I didn't think he still actually came off that shit. That's good. So that means we can actually craft some more. So let's do that. So we can get some more passives because it might give us a, a good passive that we're looking for, and we might get a good uh, uh, LMG out of out of the deal too. So let me see. We need. We want. Because we run a shotgun as our secondary sometimes, but I'm thinking about actually running the ac an actual rifle instead of a instead of a machine gun. Uh, and a shotgun. We'll see. Hold on. Let me let me go ahead and make some of these real quick. So it's gonna give me a random talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what's the talent on this. 94k. Holy shit! There's no way. 94k. Holy shit! I'll take that, man. What is this? Unhinged rate and the cost of stability and accuracy. That's not too bad. Uh, the 18% weapon damage on top of my um, passive from my armor that upgrades my LMG damage is actually really good. Wow. Okay. So I can actually strip this weapon. I can strip my old weapon and grab a ranger off of it and actually put ranger on this one. Which would be really good. I'm thinking about it. Because that means I can use this LMG at a far distance and possibly use another LMG at a close distance. I don't know, but we got, we, this is a good pool right here. This is good fucking damage, man. This is really good damage. All right, cool. So let's recalibrate and let's take off that uh, talent from um, from what we just had. Let me see, what was it? It wasn't measured, what was it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me equip it first. Can I strip it off? Yeah, I need to strip off this talent here. Oh, wait, we already have Ranger, I think. Let me see. Yeah, we already do. Okay, so we can just get rid of it then. That's good. All right, so let's do that. Let's just get rid of that weapon then. Ah, uh, let's see. This one here. I wanted to get rid of this one here as well, but um, but I do like the passive on it, so we're just going to keep it. I have a favorite, so I don't actually get rid of it. So get rid of that, get rid of that. Keeping that, keeping that, because those are legendaries. Keeping, getting rid of this one. How many say? Let me mark that as junk. There we go. Get rid of that. I need to mark this one as a favorite, because that one's actually really good. Uh, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. That. Thinking about keeping this one, because this one's actually pretty good. This one's actually better, though. But the RPM for this one's actually higher. So we're going to keep that one. I want to start using the M16, man. I really do. The M16 is really, really good. And it's actually considered a rifle. So I might want to use this. I might want to use that. Let's get rid of all this other stuff we're not going to use. Uh, some of these are actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The, the perfect talents is what I... Is, well, let me see. Let me, let me actually read that. Yes. Yes, um, the one that I'm looking at that actually has a uh, talent that I like is the Tubla Ro Rasa, basically, because it has the perfectly steady handed, and that's why I don't want to get rid of it, basically, not yet at least, because I do like I do like having named uh, named items. All right, cool receiver components, blah blah blah. All right, let's make a few more weapons, just so we can see what kind of badass passives we can use. But I do like um, I do like that magazine one. That'd be really good for like a light light machine, like one of these. But I want one with a high RPM, so I might want to craft this one here because it has a really, really, really high RPM compared to these other ones. Well, no, this one actually actually has the highest. It just has the smallest mag. What I would like to do is actually get some more blueprints for these two. I want to get, ugh, I want to get some of those as well. But it's fine. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just work with this one. 
500. Of course, this one's going to do less damage, right? Because this weapon right here would be really good with my gear set of me shooting, getting a headshot on somebody, and then just filling them full of holes so I can keep my armor high. Like, this would be really good for that. So let's go ahead and make one of these. Let's see how we can, let's see how we can get that damage. 81k ain't, ain't nothing to sneeze at. Body shots. Landing, landing body shots as a stack of bonus headshot damage to the next headshot for 10 seconds. If I'm going to be shooting them in the headshot with headshots to, to proc my passive to get more armor back and then heading back up to the head, then that's actually a passive that I could use for this particular item. So we're going to keep that. Let's not, let's, well, actually no, no, because I can actually, I can actually take that passive off and make another one. Uh, well, just because the damage is pretty high on that, let's not get rid of it just yet. Let's not put all of our hands because we might craft another one and it might instead of being 86 damage 86 thousand it might be like 55 so let's 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 be, let's be careful let's not move too fast we got to keep this steady see what i mean say so this one is actually 79 and not the 80 uh i think the 85k so let's not move too fast um i might want to just keep that uh lmg there and just be fine and, and just be done with it 80k what we got okay so here's that here's that passive so we can actually get rid of uh, that one and take the passive off of that one Oh, baby, things are coming together for your boy. So we're going to favorite this one because this one's actually really good. We're going to take the passive off of this one here of Breadbasket. And we're going to be able to use that possibly on a different one. So let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let's take talents off. Breadbasket. The one that's not favorited, right? Yeah, this one's just 80, 80, 80K, right? Let me see. Making sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, let's take that talent off. That we can always use it. Hell yeah. And let's take the let's take the one off of this one too. Why the fuck not? <clears throat> Alright, cool. We are we are looking, we are sitting pretty. This is where this is where it gets like that. This is where the, the slot machines, man, it starts you start to gamble. Oh boy, it starts. It starts to feel. You start to feel that uh, them, them endorphins, man. That dopamine. What we got? 80k. Fuck. Sledgehammer dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on a target. Started to take the more damage to armor and have 20% movement speed. <gasps> oh, now that one's really good. 30% more damage to the fucking body. That's crazy. Oh, we got to use that one too, man. Let's craft another one. We, we, I don't want to use all of our steel, of course. But we're getting some really good passives here, man. This is some really good shit. 78, what's the passive? Headshots grants status effect damage and duration. That's not bad. That's not bad because I know sometimes we, we set people on fire. We can still use it. I equipped it like an idiot. Here, we'll, we'll craft a few more and then we'll be good. Because we need to start crafting some shotguns too as well. Because uh, that's something else. Well, I guess, it, I guess it'd be best for us to have a close-up weapon and then a far a far range weapon. Which again, it's going to be kind of two LMGs. Because I'm going to kind of be double dipping into my, uh, my ammo. Don't want to do that though. Measure. Fuck. I can still get rid of uh, the, the pieces and still get some of that back. Ranger. Oh no, we're getting some of the same stuff over and over again. Oh no. Vindictive. Enemy with a status of the plan. Oh, it's 15% critical hit chance. Okay, that's if I'm playing uh, super support. Alright, this will be our last two. Okay. Because we're, we're, we're wasting. We're wasting steel, baby. We're wasting steel. Steady handed. Ooh, you're steady handed. At 100 stacks, it consumes and refills the magazine. Yeah. That one's actually pretty good. The talent that I'm excited about right now... Um, let me see, where is it? It's Sledgehammer, basically. Uh, Sledgehammer is actually pretty good. I usually hit people with grenades. I use uh, incendiary grenades. So as they're on fire, I can actually just spray them down. But I'm realizing I probably shouldn't be as excited about that because I'm not always going to have 
uh, grenades available. I have seven, but I'm not always gonna have those available. I gotta, I gotta think a little bit more realistically. But I can still use this for other LMGs as well though. So let me go ahead and grab mine. And so I don't accidentally get rid of it. Where is it? This one here. Cause that's at, that's at fucking, what is it? Like 80, 80K? 83K. 81K, okay. Let me get rid of the other ones. Let's take some talents off. Probably shouldn't be as excited about that one. Okay, we're gonna take this one off just to have it in 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 the. Uh, stay handed. Yeah, just just have this in our repertoire because you never know when we want to do a, a different build. It's always good to have as many builds as at our disposal as possible. Sledgehammer. All right, cool. So now we can actually add some of these unhinged. Grants ability and accuracy. Now, with that with that particular gun, it's at 94k. Let me see. It's this one here, right? It is. So is this? Yeah, this is my. Okay, good thing I didn't get rid of that one. Okay, cool. We're not gonna get rid of them because that one has a lot of damage on it. So high damage here, high damage on that one. Um, I can safely get rid of this particular one, basically, because this one has unhinged and this one's also unhinged. So I have two unhinged weapons that I can, I, so I can just, I can just break it off of this favorite here. Let me see. So let me favorite this one so it doesn't accidentally get crafted. And let me get, let me get rid of this one. And then I'm going to, uh, basically break down all of these because these don't have anything that I'm looking for because they already, I already have those unlocked. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of the enforcer because that's a, that's a specific one as well. Mm. I want to keep this one though because I actually probably want to use a rifle as my secondary ability, my, my secondary weapon. Uh, there's so much, there's so much to think about. This is why I love the division, dude. This right here, building is fun. Like again, I know people love like the shooty shoots, dude, but dude, but this right here. This is this is what this this whole thing right here is where I get like I, I fangirl man. Let's see here. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so so we got two light machine guns here. So we need a better secondary just in case our light machine guns run out of ammo. And I want to spec until rifles, but let's see these armor pieces, LMG damage and assault rifle damage. So I might have to go for an assault rifle as my secondary to to go with my heartbreaker but before we do that before i start making an assault rifle let's go to our thingy thing here and let's uh where are the survivalists let's respect out of Shh. okay i already have this okay cool because i had this under shotguns at first but since i'm going to be up close with my lmgs at most most of the time i don't see a point in using a shotgun right but <clears throat> for far away um engagements okay so we already got the 15 percent there so now we're sitting at a very strong 30 percent with our passive from our heartbreaker gear set so now all we have to do now is just craft a, a an assault rifle that goes with our play style i just wish we had more to choose from I, I have one of these already actually it's not that bad of a gun so what's the damage on that one <clears throat> so this one is 82k right here so let's see if we can possibly get above that on something else. Now let's see. We need high accuracy so we'll be shooting from a far away distance. <clears throat> but what's all we also gotta look at the RPM too. Okay. 44k, 48k, 44k, 47. So it looks like this one has the highest damage. Has a pretty low RPM. Uh, let's see here. This one's RPM is pretty good. The FAMAS is actually pretty nice, man both in accuracy and stability oh but the range is 28 meters though that's not a good range we want something we can get from a distance so 35 is actually pretty good 35 here on this one too so 35 48 the savage wolverine is actually pretty fucking good rpm is pretty strong too it's kind of like that good middle ground hmm <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. 
Go ahead, do your thing, dog. Uh, don't, don't, don't text and drive, as they say. You know what I mean? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, this is gonna be. This is hard. Cause I like, I like the, I like the G three, the, the G thirty six, man. Ah, oh, right. Because this one's uh, named weapon, and it already has uh, a, a talent already. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me know. I totally forgot about that. I was about to be disappointed. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and probably go with the G36 because I love the G36. The range not might be the highest, but it's not the lowest. And I just like this one. So, you know what? Let's go, let's go with the police replica. Let's see what we can get from this. 60k ain't, ain't, ain't bad. Let's try it again. 60k again. Let's do the G36. 68k ain't bad. That's pretty good. 68k again. All right, we'll do one more for both, and we'll we'll, we'll stop there. But yeah, but yeah, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip, man. I really appreciate that. I was about to. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah, so okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to possibly go with the G36. I do like the pro. I do like the police replica though. That's that's really nice. Um, let's see what let's see what talents we got for those and we might be able to add it to our g36 or vice versa let's see what we got uh let's see uh killing an enemy we don't we're not really looking for a critical hit chance it's not really that important uh killing a target within seven meters grants weapon damage we're not going to be that close with these weapons though so we don't really need that headshots grant skill damage we're not going to be using skills like that because we use our skills defensively headshots grant 50% status damage. I guess that'd be good if I'm throwing uh, status effect damage and duration by 50%. That's good if we're, if we're flinging our uh, incendiary grenades. Can you enemy grants 15 skill damage? Using a non-shield skill, which I'm using shield skills. Yeah, that's not good either. Fuck. This is, this is, oh, they got sludge hammer? Let me see. Dealing damage with a grenade. Okay. All right, 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 right. No, that's not gonna be that good. Uh. Yeah, and that, that's, I'm looking for something with, with that kind of passive, dude. That's the thing. I'm looking for something like a, with that kind of, like, damage passive. Ugh. Okay, well, let's look through these. Not just not just for uh, op, uh, Optimus and uh, the Ranger. We want to see what other things we have as well. So, Amplifies damage by the... Yeah, Ranger, dude. You're, yeah, we, we're going to need that. Uh, steady Handed would be good, too. But, again, I feel like we need a bigger magazine for that. No, that's not going to work. Ignite skill repair nope reloading from empty grants weapon handling that's all right after three reloads from empty increase your base magazine capacity by 100 that's actually pretty fun i would like to get overflow for my fucking light machine gun honestly all right mm, measured that'd be good too honestly let's see here let's look at all of these flatline Pulsed enemies. See that right there? That'd be good too, um, because we have a we have a gear set that pulses enemies upon headshots. That'd be good. All right, cool. Perfect, future perfect. Mm, there's one skill tier for 15 seconds. Stacks up three times. Weapon skill. We weapon kills grants one tier. Oh. That'd be really good for my shield. It'll make it'll it'll, it'll get me up there to where I need to be. I need to, I need to find that one as well. That'd be good. Oh man. Let me see. What we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about? And that, and that's what I'm. Tr yeah, man. That's what I want to do, dude. I want to I want to strip as many of these as I possibly can, dude. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, but I only want to strip the ones that I actually need. That way I can take the weapons that I'm not going to strip and reuse the metal to make more weapons so I can possibly get the, 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 the passives that I'm looking for. So that, that, again, that's like the catch 22 there. Let's see here. Let's, um, uh, let's start to strip some of these. Not take off the passives though, because none of these passives are good. We're looking for like Ranger. That'd be good. We, we want to get that metal back, basically. That's what we're, we're that's what that's what we're looking for. We're looking to get the metal back, so we can continuously do more uh, crafting. 
Oh, st steel, I mean. Alright, cool. So we need, we need to go back and hope and pray that we can get uh, we can get a fucking ranger, man. Because that'd be, that'd be so good. So whatever, whichever one we get, because we need to get, we actually need to get two rangers. Because we need one ranger for our weapon, but we need to be able to uh, take it off as well so we can apply it to any other assault rifle that we get in the future. Uh, nope, that's not what we need. We got future perfect. <laughs> okay, this would be really good for when we when we're doing like skill uh, lo loadouts and stuff. This this will help us in the future. Uh, so let's let's strip that right now. We need future perfect, man. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, hold on. Why can't I strip that? Did we just get it? Or is it like a one of those skills you can't take off? Yeah, I don't think we take that one off. Yeah, we can't take that one off. Okay, that one's specifically special for um, uh, that particular weapon. Let's see here. Look for the lefty. Okay, cool. All right, that sounds good. I'm definitely gonna be looking for that. I want, like I said, we're also getting our build together too, because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the uh, the White House, uh, the not the White House. What is it? The, I think it's a raid, I think. I don't know what it is. We're going to be doing uh, this shit here. The Stronghold, the Capitol Building. Because we want to get a certain... We need to get a trigger for an exotic weapon down here. Because we're trying to build this exotic weapon here. But in order to get it, uh, to get the, the, the trigger mechanism for this weapon, we need to go to the uh, Capitol, basically. That's, a, that's what I'm assuming that they're saying. I could be completely wrong about that. So that's what we're that's what we're focusing on getting our build together like so heavily. Hey man, look the the, the debuff shit, dude. I'm trying to tell you, man. Debuffing is actually pretty fucking huge in this game. Like I guess I've I've jumped into it uh, uh, when I back you know when I just played the game years ago. It's 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 a it's good. It's really good. If I if I'm going if I if I ever go back into doing like skill loadouts, man, that's what I'm gonna be wanting to do. We're never gonna get Ranger, man. We're never gonna get it. <laughs> ah, fast hands, critical hit, and stable reload speed. Uh. We're still gonna get the fast hands, though. It's still good to have. Addictive. How much steel do we have left? Oh, dude, we're almost out of fucking steel. Damn, 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 damn. I got a lot of steel. Uh, is it possible we can craft that? I don't think I don't think you can craft steel. I think you can only pick it up. Damn, that really sucks. Well, let's go ahead and get that fast hands off this assault rifle real quick. Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Uh, let's see here. This one is actually better. So we're gonna extract this one off of this weapon here. And then we're going to this one is 62. Is like ignite. Uh, when we when we're when we use the reason why ignite's actually really good is uh, for our crossbow. When we kill someone under a status effect, uh, they add more ammo, so I can uh, grab uh, more crossbow bolts faster. And it's really strong too, really really strong. And sync. We're gonna keep this one here because it is a special special talent. Even though we're not really probably gonna use it, we're gonna keep that one too. Uh, let's see here though. Measured. Measured's actually pretty good. We're probably gonna go with the measured one. Let me see here. But if we're not gonna get reformation, we can go ahead and recalibrate. Let me see. Let's take the the base damage off of this. Let me see. Which one has a really like high damage? This one does. So is it possible I can no no, because if I do that, it's gonna take the future perfect off. All right, cool. I guess no. I guess we're just. I guess we're fine then. All right, cool. So let me hope. Hopefully, I can get some steel back for some of these other ones I don't want to get rid of. So let's do this. Let me see. We got reformation. Get rid of that. We're keeping measured. Vindictive. Future preferred. We're keeping that one. That's actually favorite this, and we're favoring this one too. I won't be using SMGs anytime soon, but it's just good to have that there. You you never know. 
the Enforcer. We're going to favorite that one too. We don't want to get rid of that one. That's our best shotgun, just in case we want to go back into dabbling in, in shotguns. Um, this is for if we want to use the rifle, so we're keeping that one too. Uh, we can get rid of this one. This one's actually... I tried that one. That one's not that good. That one... And we'll just go ahead and, we'll just go ahead and stop here. Bam. We got 18 steel from that. Okay, so do we get steel from from these things too? Hold on, let me see. Actually, let me get rid. Let me let me not get rid of the skill tier ones, man, because these cause we're gonna be doing that at some point. Uh, Vanguard, skill repair. That's all right. Tech support, skill damage. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know, some of these can actually stay. Whenever you're within 10 minutes of an enemy, five stacks. Ooh, adrenaline rush sounds nice. Let's keep that. I think we'd actually strip the talents off of these. We're not gonna do it just yet. We're not gonna do that today. But we're gonna I think by actually stripping some of these talents off of these. Well, I think we can strip it from these though, because these are legendary ones. Performing cover for 10 seconds. Uh that's pretty good. But that's damage though. That's damage. That's damage, that's damage. So let's see what happens when we get rid of these here. Titanium. Electronics. None of this stuff says steel, but we are getting some uh, teal colored uh, things from this. So I guess we can actually start crafting some more legendary or gear sets in the future. Plus, it's just good to have an empty uh, inventory just in case we want to pick up some more cool shit. Yeah, we can get rid of those. That's level 30, get rid of that too. Alright, cool. Okay, so we pretty much got a good build. Uh, we, 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 let's go ahead and get our weapons together. Let's do our attachments and let's head out to the fucking capital so we can get some. Uh, let's see, future perfect and sync. We're looking for something else though. I think we favorited it anyway. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Okay, we didn't favorite it though. Okay, cool. We got measured here. So, rate of fire, but more damage. That sounds good. Uh, let me see. So, let's... All right, cool. So, I think we're pretty much good. Let's head out to the capital, man. Let's do, see if we can get us some exotic parts, man. That'd be... That's, it's, 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 it's about to get fun. Hopefully. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be stuck in a fucking vortex, man. All right, let's do it. I want to probably t possibly take that uh, control point too. Uh, we'll see. I want to start doing some of those missions at the very top too. Uh, the the uh, the episodes at some point. I don't know when though. But yeah, and that's something else too. Um, I want to start doing. I want to start getting more into uh, gadgetry as well, and like modding my gadgets, like my shield and stuff. Because I know there's actually mods for those as well. Like this game is fucking goaded when it comes to customization. Uh, I, I give. Uh, let me see. I'm looking at it. Let me see. Like for my shield down here. Uh, I want to start. I want to start getting better mods. Basically, I only have like health regeneration and things like that. But <clears throat> like I said, I want to get more stuff. I want to get like better stuff for that basically actually replacing that with this sounds great okay that that's actually can I can I mark this as a junk all right that's junk there let me see this is actually yeah 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 this is good active regeneration here let me see why can I change this one? Oh, do I need to do I need to be a, a different class Oh, but it does turn down my health overall, so that's fine. Yeah, that turns down my health overall. That's fine. So we're going to trash both of these. Okay, and a vanity mod slot. I don't know what the fuck to do with that. All right, cool. Let's mod this shit and let's get started. Now we're looking for optimal range as well because we want to do as much damage as far away as possible. So let's get that together. Optimal range. I might want to actually extend mag this one though. Uh, Ten more rounds. That's that's not. I don't think that's worth it. Okay. 
right? Also, those are perfect time to have better kind of stats than the ones you have now. The way they are named is the named items. Yes, like the enforcer that I have the shotgun. So, for instance, everyday carry has a perk called efficient. I think it's called. Ooh. Okay, okay. I like that. Okay, so they're basically just okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Sounds good. It's just it's kind of hard because I don't. Let me see. Like it's like the, it's like the grudge the 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 grudge here because that's like perfect vindictive. Uh, I think it has to, I think it has to have perfect in front of it for it to be one of those like talents. And again, of course, the perfect vindictive is actually is actually golden too. That's what we're looking for. We, we we're looking for that kind of shit as well. So I'm assuming future perfect isn't perfect because it'd be perfect future perfect, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this out, man, with our new with our new build. Hopefully, we can start taking it to some bitches. Now, let's see here. Oh, I didn't I didn't finish uh, modding my weapon. So hopefully, we get, we can get, we can get that drop here, man. I don't know if they're I don't know if they're gonna drop the trigger for me for the exotic. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be sad if they don't. We're gonna do accuracy. We'll be shooting from a distance, and hopefully, they have more optimal range. Oh, baby. Oh, we're going to be flinging from a distance. And I put the scope on on purpose because I want to be able to uh, precision shoot. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, cool. So let's go to the capital, man. I think we're about ready. This is where it gets fucking difficult. Oh, God, yes. Oh, this feels nice. All right, let's go. And I think the capital building is actually behind us. Yeah. We'll get that control point later. Right now, let's head to this place. If we do die here, though, and we, we get like stuck in a vortex, we're going to go ahead and possibly take that uh, control point. All right. That's not the way to go. Let me see. Let me mark it real quick. It might give me a way of getting in there. It is okay. It, it doesn't. All right. Let's get in there, man. I'm excited. Let's try this build out. Hopefully, it's worth a damn. Okay. Maybe I just don't know how to get in there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> I think I have to accept the mission first so the doors can open for me. I think I saw the mission, like, pop up somewhere. Unless it's closed. Do I see the mission here? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Hold on a sec. Let me see. Let's see here. Mission settings. Okay, so I can't do it on any other difficulty than that one. Mode replay. Directives. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, hear it! <laughs> the shit's right here, man. I, I I remember seeing it. Okay, mission options. Let's see here. Okay, damage increase, armor increase, blah blah blah. Doc Simpson, uh, Caramon equipped and items. Enemy level forty. Now it doesn't tell me that it's gonna drop what I'm looking for though. All right, well, let's try it anyway. It says the capital. So I'm assuming I'm assuming there's nothing else called the capital because it didn't say capital, the capital building. I don't think it said that. It says cap. Yeah, it didn't say it said just the capital. So let's make sure nothing else is called the capital here. Or it's actually called like a mission or something called the capital. I was want Hey, look, we got to be as efficient as we can, man. It's been it's been a while since we played. Uh, let's see here. I don't know why this will be called the capital. Okay, DCD headquarters. District. Okay, Washington Hotel. American History Museum. Sinkhole. Because these are things we got. We got to do at some point anyway. Capitol Hill. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I think that's where we need to go to get that drop. Yeah. And even if we don't get it, it's always good to come out leveled up a little bit more, too. So it's not going to be a complete loss. 
All right, here's hoping and praying. Let's do it. Wait, did I did I accept the mission? You don't know, don't uh don't specialists also have like uh the specialists that every specialist class don't they also have like special uh armor kits that you can use? I think mine's doesn't refill my my uh, health all the way, basically. But what it does do, it refills my armor over time and also gives my my teammates uh, health as well. Okay, I think I started the mission. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. Directives increase difficulty to earn more rewards. Wait, then what's the directives then? <clears throat> when one skill is activated, the other uh, is other. Oh, okay. So putting these on mini map and direct and directional threat indicators are removed. Oh, and they increase rewards. I see a gun symbol there. Wait, no, that's just what I'm putting on here. But how much does it increase it by? Enemy bullets may be special types. What, what type depends on the enemy faction? Eek. No, we ain't doing that. Start with no ammo. Hostiles killed with a sidearm are, are the only ammo source. E. Armor never regenerates after an encounter. Oh no, let's not do that just yet. We're not we're not trying to be crazy now. No no turn turn those off. Uh uh turn those off off. Thank you. Jesus. They were keeping that shit on. Game have to catch up. Alright, cool. Let's do it. So what specials you running, man? Uh, I run those the the uh sur the survivalist? The one that got the crossbow. I tried the flamethrower one, but I didn't like that I didn't like his uh he didn't really have good support capabilities. I think it's called the firewall or something. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, hold on. Did I not, did I not start the mission? I am crazy. I'm I'm an idiot, and I'm and, I, and I'm and I'm crazy too. Wow. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Let me see here. Let me try this again. Go back. Ah, <sighs> because I'm, I'm I think I'm supposed to go through some doors. Let me see. And I, like I said, me 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 personally, I I personally love support more than anything else. <laughs> love me some support, man. Highly highly underrated. They weren't here at first. Let's do it. For, for the people watching the VOD, man, uh, be sure to follow me if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, man. Like I said, we're going to be playing a, a, a good chunk of games, man. But right now, we're on our, we're on our division kick. Uh, so I'm gonna try my best to uh, try to diversify my my content <laughs> once <laughs> the kick is over, which I don't know when that's gonna be. But yeah, man, I really appreciate you guys' support and everything like that. I really do. You guys are awesome. Coming out and watching the vod late or on time, depending on how you guys want to see it. I know I can't stream for you guys all the time, uh, live at least for some of you guys. So I appreciate you guys actually coming out and supporting me and watching the vods and enjoying um, my company. Or hell, even if you just guys are just coming for the music, I appreciate you guys coming out for for me. I really do. It means the world. As I'm trying to give thanks to you guys, I'm getting fucking torn the fuck up. So give me a second. Let me, uh, let me do this. Oh, that feels, that feels right. That feels right. I like that. That feels right. All right. What doesn't feel right is this damage I'm taking right now. 
Okay, cool. Oh. Hold on. I gotta do I gotta do now. Hold on. There we go. That was hella risky, but I'll take it. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing how I'm supposed to play this uh, build now. Let me use the assault rifle for the normal classes, but I'm going to use my... Um, shit. I'm going to use my LMG for, like, big bosses and shit like that. People that I can actually pour a lot of bullets into. Ooh, now that sounds nice. Now that sounds nice. Um, I actually that that's actually the reason why I want to play the skill set basically because there, there's like that I think there's a, a defensive offensive and then like the yellow uh, skill let me let me let me be more specific I'm sure there's a term for it let me see oh I think it's okay it's called armor so armor weapon damage and then skill tier that's why I want to play the play the skill tier uh, loadout one is because it affects the hive man the hive is a really good support item it's probably like the best all right, are we did? Oh, okay, we're, we're in there. Let's do it. Shit. Let's do this. It's about to get real difficult. I see you. Back up. Ah, shit, I can't bend down. Okay, come on, let's do it. Come on. Oh, that feels right. Yep, that's good. Oh, we can do this. There we go. Gotta keep moving. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we got us, we got us some crossbow ammo too. So that's good. We're fighting some big dudes. Like that guy right there. That's what we're gonna LMG for. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that uh, extra armor right there. That's what that's what we're looking for, baby. Okay, so the build is actually working. It's it's performing. Make sure I'm not missing anything. We just gotta take our time. Come on, peek, peek me, peek me. Shit, getting flanked, getting flanked. Bro, how do you still have health left? Hold on, hold on, doing something really risky. There we go. Get the look, look at that, the extra armor, baby. Come on, it's, it's working. Bro, you came back? Oh, we got a shotgun there. That's awesome. Double barrel. That's not bad. Oh, well, yeah. We need the, we need the heavy machine gun for that guy. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, let's reload. Hold on. Oh. Got a better idea. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this fast enough. Uh, rate of fire. Hell yeah. Reload speed. Thumb range. I'm getting shot at. Hold on. Alright, cool. Oh, that that's a problem. That's also a problem too. Oh shit. Let's do this. I think I missed that one though. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. 
There we go. I need more bullets, man. Shit, shit, shit. trying to do dude well good job you died here we go let's get that reload speed up a little bit higher oh i forgot about this asshole oh shit no 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 why does he have to be a healer ah oh, he's a healer dude fuck He had to be a fucking healer, didn't he? Where does bitch ass go? Where the fuck did he go? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Oh, you, 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 you don't want to fight no more? He's probably going to have to go heal somebody else. Come on! See, this is why we got the build, man. We can actually stand up to this asshole. Shit. We need more, we know, we need more reload speed. Is there a possible we can get some more of that? Uh, let's do weapon handling here. Reload speed. Yep. Fuck the, fuck the rate of fire. It's already high enough. There we go. <laughs> Success. Whew. Oh, I didn't get the notification. Okay, shit, man. Uh, uh, reactive. I really appreciate that follow, man. I am so sorry for not getting to that. Shit, I feel like such an asshole now. I didn't get the notification. I didn't get the notification. Man, I gotta do something about this notification, man, so I can actually hear it. Cause so many things happen. All right, turn this down. Oh, no, I was actually thanking you for uh, following me, dude. I really do appreciate that. All the support really does help. I just didn't I just didn't see it because my notifications are so low. Um, my notifications is set to my uh, desktop volume, and my desktop volume is also um, my my music. So I don't want to make the notification loud because I'm just going to make the music too loud. But, yeah, man, I appreciate the follow. I really do, man. I really appreciate it. But we're very slowly making our way inside the inside the Capitol building, man. The only reason why I'm I'm very confident fighting this guy with this kind of armor is because of the, because because of our build. Broke that shit twice. But we're good though. We're all right. There's more people. Why? Why didn't? Why didn't I think there were gonna be more people? We gotta start picking up some health packs too. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're running low on uh on uh lights light machine gun ammo too.
Come on. Come on. All right, let's 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 get some cover. Let's 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 regroup. Get some cover. Let's calm the fuck down. Everybody, chill out. Let, let me let me <laughs> let me get some cover. Let, <laughs> let me breathe. Bro, we're running low on light machine gun. Okay, we got some more. We got some more. Okay, thank God. Bro, we had like 60 bullets left and that was it. All right, cool. Uh, go, go. Oh. oh, good thing we moved. All right. Now that we're, sit we're shooting at a distance, let's switch to our assault rifle. Use that 30% extra damage on top of the extra damage we have from our gun passive. There we go. That's what we like. That's what we like. Yo, we earned this build, did we not? We fucking earned this fucking build. If you guys sit on that ground, man. I'm going to just get that extra armor, man. Oh, baby. This build's fucking nice. I love this. Oh, if we can kill him, we can kill his little drone thing. There we go. Can you die, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah, we got it, man. The, with the optimal range build. Oh, oh, this is orgasmically good. Bro, this this build is touching all my G spots. I love it. Let's uh reload this to get 60 bullets in this one. All right. We are doing so good. So far, I think we only died once. So that's good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Nervous, nervous, nervous. What? What the fuck? <laughs> no. No. That sucks, man. GG. Oh, I'll be right back. Give me like two seconds. the fuck was that man holy shit I, I i got no red aoe or no kind of warning maybe maybe there was maybe i just wasn't paying attention yes yeah, let's breach the door i'm sure they told me like in the dialogue all right let's get down Oh, that's what killed me. Okay, that makes sense. Can I press it again? No? Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go. Shit, man. Oh, I've had, I haven't done the Capitol building in a while. Let's do it. Come on. We gotta take out that uh, fucking EMP thing. Is that it right there? Is that it? That's it. We gotta take that out. Yeah. All right, there we go. Let's reload. You're not crazy enough to come up, come behind cover, dude. Don't pretend like you're crazy. Here, let's do this. Reload. Come on. Let's reload. Okay, that's good. Oh, you're gonna need an LMG to your face, aren't you? 
I see, I see that. I see that. Uh, that that turd right in front of my face. He's yet to shoot me, so I don't care. There we go. There we go. Shit, man, is this not working? All right, cool. Uh, get up top. Go. Shit, shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Come on. Hold on, hold on. I'm gotta, I gotta be brave, gotta be brave. Hold on. Gotta be brave, gotta be brave. Stand my ground, stand my ground. I had to because I was foamed down on, 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 I was foamed, so I couldn't move. Here we go. Yeah. Is it shooting them? Well, I think it is. Oh, that might be his, actually. Oh! Oh! Out of bullets, long bullets. Gotta back up. Gotta back up. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Gotta reload. I see you, dude. I see you. There we go. Oh! Just fucking die, Jesus. Alright, let's get this guy back there. Hold that. Let's get on this other side. Hold on. Alright, what we got? Got a holster here. That's good. Okay, I thought I thought you died. You're supposed to die when your health is like at zero that's what i thought how this game was supposed to work all right oh he is moving moving okay sonic hold on let me go get him yeah, after that the room should be cleared oh, he ain't doing too he ain't doing too good oh i'm gonna reload Right. I'm loving this. This is fun. I'm loving this. I'm sorry. I got. I just gotta. I just gotta take back. Take a breather, man. This is. This is fun. Hey, man. We worked hard for this build, man. We did, and it's actually starting to perform. Let's keep moving. Let's keep it moving forward. Bro, the fucking graphics. Let me stop. And the thing about it is, I'm always, I've always been a gameplay for graphics kind of person, but I'm I can I can appreciate good graphics, man. It just usually when games have good graphics, they usually put all their money into the graphic fidelity and not the gameplay. Here, man, they don't give a fuck. They did both somehow. This game is still a very beautiful game. Ooh. Oh, oh, you, you you can't stand up to the power, my guy. You can't stand up to the power. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I like to hear, and that's what I like to see. Give me one sec. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I want you to lay on the ground. Oh, this is this is oh. Let me let me stop. Let me stop uh sucking this game's dick for a second. On how good it is and how good my build is, man. But let me just let me just gag just a little bit longer, man. This shit is awesome. 
Oh, he just dropped right past me. Oh, this is not the position I want to be in. This is not the position I want to be in. This is not the position. Oh, shit. Oof. Shit. Is that a... Oh, yeah, I'm on fire. Okay, hold on, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. There we go. Just throw these out. Okay. All right. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Oh, he's <laughs> he's rolling, rolling. This isn't the best position to be in. Okay, we're we're, we're ducking down now. Can we get his backpack? Does that count? No, it doesn't. That should kill him. That should be a kill. There we go. There we go. That should destroy, right? That should blow up. All right, up the ladder. Let's go. Oh, he broke my entire armor. Fuck! Agent killed. God damn it. Someone shot me from behind with a fucking sniper and destroyed all my fucking armor. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, fuck, man. That sucks. That really sucks, man. I'm sad. All right, let's do it. Wrong gun. Let me get rid of all these uh, lesser red guys first. Then I, I focus on the big guys later. Here, hold this. <laughs> they want me to hold something too. All right, so that guy should be dead. Uh, let me not get up there again. Jesus! Fuck. Jump, jump, jump! Duck, duck, duck! Hello. And fucking goodbye. Bro, you need to... <laughs> you need to go back to maneuvering school, man. Well, he can't go back now. What up? Shit. I keep on tapping that button and it always puts it in a bad position. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, hold on. Let's do this now. Whew. Okay, so I was getting shot from this direction. I didn't I don't I didn't see what was over here though. Come on now. Here we go. Oh, wow. All right, cool. We only have one more health pack left. This is sad. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is bad. Now, let's move forward. Let's move forward. I just don't want to get shot from the top, man. Like, I think they have a really good shot at my back right here. They do. This guy does, at least. 
Oh, jeez, this is really bad. They're putting fire everywhere, man. Shit, I can't breathe in here. And now I'm stuck in foam. Wow. They are not holding back on your boy. I got to start doing, like, I got I to gotta find a good spot to be at. But I can't sit in one spot because they're going to flush me out with a grenade. Then they phoned me up. God damn. It's going to be one of those missions, isn't it? Holy Jesus Christ. <clears throat> okay, we're up here now. We're, up, we're at the top, so we, we have somewhat of an advantage. When they start spawning in, if they do spawn on up here, we can actually get them as soon as they arrive. Okay, cool. That's interesting. I'll get some targeted loot in here, too. Oh, yeah. Hold that. Hold that. Forgot I had this fucking gun. Y'all shouldn't have reminded me. Hold that. I missed? I missed again? Bro, say it ain't so, yo. Say it ain't so. There you go. Hold that. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. If I can kill this asshole, I'll kill this fucking drone thing. I'm missing every fucking shot. There we go. This drone should be dead now. Alright, now we can get back to crossbowing people in the fucking face. What? Fuck off, me, boy. Oh, I missed it! Come on. Bro, I need backup right now. <laughs> there we go. That's good. More? Oh, wow. They really weren't playing no games when they wanted me to secure the fucking house chamber. All right. My armor is still pretty high on my shield. We got to kind of like play a little bit on the careful side. I just wish I had more DPS on my fucking pistol. That guy's laying on the fucking ground. Oh, he has armor, man. I can't, I can't take that guy out just yet. Here we go. Let's do this. Fuck! Broke his armor, at least. There we go. I don't want to use my last little armor piece just yet. Let's do this. Let's reload. We got like eight enemies in there still. Okay, let's do it. Wait, so there's a, there's a yellow guy in here? Where? That's... Oh, this asshole right here. This guy. That's the guy that set it up. Alright. Alright. Oh, that's not good at all. I gotta, I gotta get to that room. Uh, uh. Oh, that was so close. That was a good run. Let's try it again. Uh, do I need to change my gun? No, 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 no. My guns are fine. My guns are fine. I just gotta pick my targets a little bit better. I had I was really I had a really good position in that room though. Here, let's take a look. Let's see here. Okay, that's one of the new LMGs we got. We can get rid of this one off the bat. We don't need more damage. Just the, the damage isn't the problem. Nah, 
no we need to keep a high mag again this would be good for when we're when we're possibly running a shotgun so we can kind of do both what's the passive on this okay that's more weapon damage that's that's actually pretty good it's off rip but i think this one also grants landing body shot adds a stack of bonus 35 percent headshot damage to the next headshot uh, that sounds like more of a sniper type of thing but i'll take it man fuck it we don't need to change our assault rifle assault rifle is actually pretty nice all right weapon kills hitting enemies let me see Weapon tier skill six ultra charge. Weapon kills at skill tier six. Oh, okay, okay. I get overcharge for getting uh kills with this, so it puts my my everything into overcharge. Let's try it. Let's try it. It might not. It, honestly, this this isn't gonna work. Because why would, why would I need why would I need overcharge for my shield? Like I I have to get a kill with this first, so that's not gonna work. All right, that didn't work. Again, I don't want to get stuck in this position where they can just <clears throat> give me from every angle. Get back up here. That's right. Ah, I got too overzealous. Gotta be careful now, man. I basically just use up all. Of, I, again, I, I, I need more uh, health packs too. If I had more health packs, this wouldn't be that big of an issue. Oh man, I'm already low. Let me do this. Oh, I'm trying to get down. Let's not use it just yet. Okay. There we go. Wow, this thing is super tanky. Wow. They really want you to kill the owner of that first before you even think about killing the turret. Speaking of which, I should possibly that should possibly be my second um skill, honestly. I should I, sh I need a I need another another body on the field. I think a turret would be nice to set up in here. I I'll, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Oh, dude, look at the fucking barrel on my gun. It's fucking, it's like blood red. I love that shit from the heat. That is so cool. Hold that. Oh, so this is why they did it to me. <laughs> I see why they did it to me. Okay. We're looking good. Feeling good. Who is that? Jesus. Okay, fuck it. We gotta change the music, man. Uh, we, we need something a little bit more... Uh, tough. Let's see here. Y'all got it. Y'all do y'all thing. There we go. Let's play a game. What happens when you hire a producer, vocalist, session musician? Finally got me, you son of a bitch. Not, let me not get too much out in the open. I was able to actually able to earn a lot of my shield back instead of just uh, using a fucking uh, health pack. No. Shit.
Ooh. Oh, shit, man. That is an incendiary green if I've ever seen one. Yeah, man. I'm, hey, look. It sucks to suck, dude. Die. He's still alive? Alright, let me do this before they want to start running through that door behind me. Because they can easily just get me from behind. Alright. We're good. Yeah, here they come. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. Come on. Here. Oh, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Did she get revived? Shit, more people. We still we still got a yellow guy downstairs right now though, too. Let me not get caught out here because they're going to shoot me from the side. Did you, uh, only, the, only the yellow guys are going to be left alive. That's okay though because I'm have a. I have, I'm going to use my light machine gun against those guys. I just don't want to get flanked by these red dudes. Okay, cool. We're looking good. Looking sexy, looking hot. Alright. Oh, we're all out of grenades? Are you serious? We're, we're, we are seriously out of fucking grenades right now. Health pack! Hell yeah! Now this won't be too too big of a deal. Watch this. I missed him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Headshot, baby! Come on! Get up. Let me see your fucking face. This dude is fucking armored up. Fuck you going, boy. Got him. And we are fucking done. Ooh. And we are fucking done. All right, on to the next room. Jesus Christ. Fucking Christ. All right. Gun crate. Hell yeah, baby. Let's get it. Nighttime when I started this mission, I could be wrong. I think it's just cloudy outside. Bro, they got like 18 purples people here, man. What the fuck? Oh, they're gonna come flank behind me. No, no, this is not the smart idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
Wish we're not gonna get flanked. Yep, someone's coming. Always check your angles, kids. God damn it. Fuck. Man, Jesus, motherfuck. Other expletives. Man, we're so much better than this. It's got, I got. Hmm. Fucking bomb rush by like <clears throat> eight purples and like eight yellows and three reds. I'm like, how oh, the fuck am I supposed to take all those guys out? It's just, it's just, it's just little on me. Let's do it. Assholes, shit. No, no, no. There's way more guys out here last time. No, no, no. Way more guys out here last time. Let's get him out. Let's get him out of my face. Right. Come here. <laughs> My man thinks he's an action hero and shit. But yeah, if you guys are watching this on the vibe, man, be sure to follow follow my uh Twitch, man. We're gonna be playing games like this all the time. Um, like I said, I don't know how long we're going to be on this division kick, though, man. But if you guys are enjoying the content, you guys enjoy my commentary, you guys enjoy me. Again, we're gonna, there's going to be a lot more me coming up in the future uh, of the, the, the channel. I would hope so. <laughs> and I appreciate all the support, guys. I really do. Also, check out my YouTube channel. It's going to be in my little bio down there. Uh, we don't play, we don't do stuff like this though. We play different types of games and do uh, all kinds of different types of content. All right, dude, you need to fucking die. You need to go, man. You need to go. Can I, can I break that helmet? Hell yeah. There we go. Helmet's broken. Nah, dude, get, get out of my face. There we go. There we go. Who's next? Who the fuck is next? Ooh, ooh, you're a captain, I guess. They 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 do that now. Your little regime gives you gives you captain status. Awesome. Gotta move. Fuck me, dude. I know that. I know that. I know captains to my to my side. Oh my god. Go back to grenade aim school, bitch. Well, in a little bit, you won't be able to. Not like this. Oh, 
still got zero on a zero, man. Fuck. I gotta pick those up. Hold on. We gotta we gotta use these. We gotta use these. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right, Captain. It's okay, buddy. All right, here. If you really, if you want to know what's out there, there you go. That's nothing, buddy. You're fine. I appreciate you safeguarding the, the, the bedroom, though. I do. <laughs> ah. Now look out there. <laughs> Did I open it up for you? There you go. Look out. Somebody just wants to know what the hell is going on out there. He's just curious. Alright. Grab this. Bro. Okay, this, I think this guy's the last one. I do not want to do this section again. Come on, come on. There we go. Put on a heavy damage. Actually, it'd be easier for me to do this. There we go. There we go. We're, hey, look, we're doing it. All right. When you're ready, send up a flare so we can get that briefcase somewhere safe. Ready? We're ready now. We need some more ammo, we need more health packs, we need more everything. By any means, they mean kill the to kill the bastards. Okay, I have eyes on you. You're coming up on those radar trailers. Knock them the fuck out and let's get this shit done. Oh, do I go around? Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. We got one health pack? Are you fucking with me? Let's not trigger anything just yet. Hold on. Get rid of this. Can we open up something over here? Like a little crate or something? I see a little ammo box up there. We don't need any ammo though. Before we trigger anything, we gotta make sure we can get some something. Bro, there's no way we're gonna we're gonna do this with like one health pack and like two grenades. There's no way.
Oh well, that looks like looks like that's how it's gonna be then. Fuck it. I mean, we we've been in worse situations, right? I think we've been in. I think we we we, we prosper under pressure. That's what we do. So let's let's let's, let's just get it done, I guess. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh man, you're a pussy, dude. My man, how are how did you get to the rank of yellow? You drop faster than these red dudes. How? Explain that to me. Oh shit. Move. Man, look, I wish I can come help you, dude. I really do. Okay, here they come. Oh, I guess they within range. I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. I am such an idiot. I just went straight off on the side on the tangent. All right, cool. Yeah, come to me. There you go. Hold that. Oh, fucking reviver, dude. Fuck. Oh, I got to take him out, man. I really do. I have to take the guy out, that guy out now. Yeah, no, where is he? Fuck did he go? This guy's gonna be fucking everywhere. Well, if I kill these guys over here in my area, I got Oh! Health pack! I don't have to worry about that guy coming over and reviving. I can just kill him when he comes over here. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, come over here and come revive your friends. He brings them back with a second health bar? What the fuck? We gotta do this now. We gotta do this now. He's gonna be he's probably reviving somebody else too now. Bring your stupid ass this way. Shit. Here we go. Where's that last guy at? Where is he? Where the fuck is that guy? I'm not, I'm not shooting him. Alright. Oh, I gotta move. I need to get that guy, though. I need to get him. The asshole's just following that other asshole around everywhere. Dude, get the fuck out of the way. If I can get him, if I can get him. Get him out of here. He's down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick up, pick up. There we go. That's another one. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Okay, now let's turn on that overwrite thing. We should be, we should be able to do this pretty peacefully. As long as there isn't a... Oh, get another health kit. Oh, thank God. Wait, why didn't I pick that up? Why, why do I only still have one? Oh... Uh, Maybe I maybe I had none, but I guess when I already picked up another one. All right, cool. Oh no 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 you no the fuck you don't. That was a healer. You've got who? That's a grenader. Okay. I'm about to say. There we go. Okay, now we can actually we don't have to worry about getting flushed out now. We got one grenade left. We gotta make that one count. I was about to say, why do you care? Are you about to heal them? Man, those healers, man, I'm getting. I, I, I haven't been playing this game that long. I'm already getting PTSD. Die. Oh shit! Okay, there we go. No, I'm not using this just yet. I can't use it. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use it. I'm gonna need to use it. Oh fuck. Uh, there we go. Did he drop one? He dropped the health kit. Oh, thank god. I mean, I'm gonna need that off all people. I'm gonna get that. That asshole over there, man. <gasps> no. Sounds good. I would like to get that shield mod over there. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Ooh, Jesus. Oh. Alright. Let's reload. Should probably save these for uh, yellow enemies. Let me save that. Can you please just die, please? I'm asking nicely. Jesus. All right. I, sh I picked up one shield. Okay, let's get this ammo real quick. And then we're going to see about getting that little golden thing over there, legendary. Or I guess in this game, it'd be called, it's called high end. Come on. Oh god. To you. Hold on, let me do this. I gotta be fast too. What am I not gonna use? Pulse. Trap attachments. To I gotta use that. Alright, cool. Give me a second, I'll attach it every Give me a second. Pick this shit up real quick. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. There we go. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Wow, I have no shield left. Was that a sniper up there? General. Ooh. Okay. Let me keep let me keep the general between me and this box here as I handle up on his homeboy. Oh 
wow. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. I'll take my time getting to him. There's another one down. <gasps> he dropped the health kit. Oh, let me not let me not see red. I gotta move I gotta move careful. Come on, look at me. Please don't let it be a reviver somewhere, man. That's gonna really suck. Oh! I'm not taking that chance. Someone can get lucky. Oh, he missed. Oh, thank God. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Got that fucking helmet off of you. I'm waiting for homeboy to use his fucking rocket launcher, though. Here we go, got him. Woo! Had to dodge. Oh, we're doing great. We're doing great right now. We'll get him last. Come on, let's do it. We gotta, we gotta use our crossbow at some point, too. Uh, he's getting his little rocket launcher ready. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed again! Oh! I'm not even gonna even attempt to do that with him just yet. Bro, I don't think it's the best spot to be in with a, with a man with a rocket launcher that's two feet away from me. I'm just be honest with you. Ah! Yep. And that asshole's just gonna sit up there too. Yeah, you can just yeah hold on to that rocket launcher for right now. Look at your partners real quick. Oh no. Is he going to keep on calling in more people? Because I... He's going to keep on calling in more people. Alright. This is... Uh, okay. Now, we, we know that now, at least. Could you climb a ladder any slower in, in real life? Could you just, like, in real life, climb a ladder just any slower than that? Alright, cool. So, we're not going to kill everybody. We're just going to get everyone low. Let's focus on this guy here. Got him. Oh, they didn't get him? Got him. Oh, 
I gotta move. Could you go down a ladder any slower? Holy shit. I'll take some grenades. That's fine. Oh, I gotta get that asshole up there, dude. Because I don't know no respawns are on. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. He's about to shoot his rocket launcher. Shit. Oh, we got, we're getting some bullets in on him. Thank God. He is, health isn't dropping at all. Got him. You can still fire when I'm shooting you in your fucking face? Like, you can still fire? Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Keep it going. Let's keep that damage going. Come on. Let's keep it going. Yes! Yes! <sighs> yes! First try, baby. First try. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Let's man. Oh my god. We've been doing this for damn near an hour, man. <laughs> god, I love this fucking game, dude. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, yo. Good shit, everybody. Why am I thinking, people? <laughs> oh. That was all us right there, man. I'm used to sharing, sharing my victories, man. I, I am. Oh, we made it. Boys and girls, we made it. Ah. Oh. Oh, so we're done. Let's do it. Let's view it. All right, we got oh, we got a lot of stuff here. All right, cool. Let me leave the mission area and let's let's complete this officially, and then let's see if we got any parts, man. Hopefully we did. If we did, I'm gonna be sad. I have to look it up exactly what what they mean when they, when they say uh, trigger pieces. I mean, I'm not completely mad about this because I was able to level up proficiencies and all that and and crates and whatever so i mean I, that's fine with me i don't really mind but i would have loved to have gotten the, the trigger if i don't have it already because it wasn't really being specific on how what capital i was supposed to do that's okay buddy all right cool and we're out of the mission area now you guys go ahead and do that i guess i'll help these guys out real quick Okay. Jesus. Yeah, the, the cover is actually going to help me here. Yeah, no, we, we, get, we got that extra armor, buddy. Come on, come on. There we go. 
We gotta, we gotta work that head. Gotta work that head. Here we go. Just to help out our friends, man. Just to help out our friends. All right, cool. Let's head back to the White House. And let's check the, the fruits of our labor, man. Okay, now we can go ahead and change the music back to what it was before. <laughs> Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, All right, all right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Oh, man. At Capital. Recover the trigger mechanism at Capital to discover the location of the next component. Oh, that's sad. I'm sad. That's all right. We still got a lot of stuff, though. I'm going to go ahead and just look it up then. Got a lot of skill things here, too. This is actually really good. All right. Why does this Heartbreaker have, like, only 51,000 armor? Why? That is so weird. It should not have that little bit of armor. What I might end up doing, though, is actually if I do wear this, which I think I already... No, wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. I should be able to add the, 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 yeah, the 1000 armor to this. Yeah. There we go. Now I can actually wear it. Now what's the passive for it though? Because for this one, wait, hold on. Wait, what? Close their perfect spotter. Amplifies looking skill. <gasps> On pulsed enemies, get the fuck out of here! Using an armor kit has the same ability not to consume armor kit. Oh, these are so good! Pulsed enemies take more damage. You stop fucking playing with me. Here, let me recalibrate that too. Bro, stop fucking playing with me. Yeah, dude, let's put that on there. Bro, that's so good. That, that's good for our solo runs, dude. That's so good for our solo runs. The other one's really good too, man, but I'll take the pulse stuff. Because all we all we have is dam damage amplification. No total armor, armor on kill, and has protection. That's for the uh, Uzina. Now, we might want to start getting some Uzina stuff too. I said, this is good too, man. Not being able to use armor kits, so we can actually just keep popping those bad boys. But that's the thing. Do we want to do that? Armor regen and armor on kill. Armor regen. Total armor. Armor on kill. Man, we might have to get, we might have to get the efficient one though, man. Honestly. Like, these are all very useful in situations, but I think the armor kits are what we're probably possibly going to need. I'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Now, do we have any of those, um, is this Brazios here? No, this is Uzina. It's okay, buddy. 
All right, cool. You know what? We we have we are way past the three hour mark. If you guys enjoy, please uh, be sure to follow me here on Twitch. We're gonna be streaming all the time, whether it be Division, Saints Row, Prototype, fucking For Honor. We're gonna be doing everything, right? Um, if not, go ahead and follow me on YouTube as well. We have a bunch of stuff there. I just got through posting two videos today as well. We're doing Delta Rune. Uh, we're doing uh, Saints Row. We got uh, the new Saints Row, the one that's really bad. Uh, we got uh, miscellaneous content like movie reviews and things like that. So you guys go ahead and support me there as well. If not, go ahead and check out my book as well. It's going to be on Amazon.com. Took me eight years to write it. It's finally fucking finished and ready for the public. Let me know what you guys think about that book. It's only $14.99. I don't want it being like 20 30 40 bucks because I want it to be in a range where one can uh, afford it as well. So you guys go ahead and have a good rest of your day or night, depending on what side of world you guys are on. Whew.